Chapter 2981 The title Pil Sovereign So Lord Brahma is someone from the flame domains Indra human race. His original name is unknown, and he paid worship to the Pil Sovereign in his youth, becoming the Pil Sovereign's second disciple. He focused on cultivating flame arts, and when the Pil Sovereign taught him the Nirvana scripture, he changed his name, calling himself Brahma. Fallen Danite is a descendant from the Dark Domain's Divine Forger race. Possessing a timeless bloodline, he was the third disciple of the Pil Sovereign and focused on forging divine furnaces capable of merging heaven and earth, and all deos in between. After three days in the Divine Scripture Pavilion, Long Chen had gone through countless tomes and finally found some information regarding Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite. Pil Sovereign Long Chen's heart leaped. Previously, he had thought that his Pil Sovereign memories came from a sovereign level expert from the Martial Heaven Continent, but now he found that this wasn't the case. The Martial Heaven Continent had produced Pil Sovereigns before, however, they were only called Pil Sovereigns because their Pil Dao had reached the level of receiving recognition from the very world itself, resulting in the divine radiance of the heavenly Deos blessing them. A Pil Sovereign was not a sovereign in the 13th Vestige of Heaven merging but someone whose Pil Dao had reached such a height that they were crowned a blessing from heavenly Deos. That blessing was later called the Pil Sovereign's Divine Radiance. Also, a Pil Sovereign could not be compared to a Sovereign, but the meaning behind their titles was the same. It meant to have reached the pinnacle of the world, something that could not be surpassed. However, in the immortal world containing the nine heavens and ten lands, only one person was bestowed the title of Pil Sovereign. No one knew who this person was, or whether they were a man or woman. They were simply called the Pil Sovereign because they were the master of the Pil Dao, its creator. There was no record of the Pil Sovereign within the tomes of the Inner Academy. Whoever they were, they were real yet seemingly ephemeral. They were a mysterious existence. Do my Pil Sovereign memories come from this person? Is this why I detest Brahma and Fallen Danite? That monster in the Heaven Dragon Flame region back then cursed Brahma for being a bastard who betrayed his master, but there's nothing about him betraying the Pil Sovereign in these texts. After that, Long Chen spent a full three days scouring the historical texts without sleep. He used his endless spiritual strength to read everything here. However, the information he found was pitifully lacking. Even after absorbing so much knowledge, he only gained this little bit of information. But even this little bit was enough for Long Chen to gain some new understanding of his Pil Sovereign memories. It was said that the Pil Sovereign had accepted four disciples in their lifetime. Brahma was the second disciple, and Fallen Danite was the third disciple. But no one knew who the first and final disciples were. In addition, Long Chen had also learned about nine star heirs. They were recorded as seeds of vengeance. Legend was that millions and millions of years ago, an apocalyptic battle was fought, and the nine heavens almost collapsed. At that time, a certain peerless expert fell, and just before death, this person swore to spread the seeds of vengeance throughout every corner of the nine heavens and ten lands. One day, his heir suddenly appeared for vengeance, seeking to slaughter the ten planar worlds, using fresh blood to dye the nine heavens red and opening a new epoch to the nine heavens and ten lands. And from that moment on, the terrifying nine star heirs appeared in this world, seeking vengeance. They were terrifying existences wishing to topple the nine heavens and ten lands. They were incredibly powerful and arrogant. Throughout these millions and millions of years, countless nine star heirs had created countless miracles and left behind legends. However, they all ultimately died with a brilliant burst of life. Before they fully grew, they were wiped out by other experts. A few nine star heirs grew up to slaughter countless life forms, causing huge waves throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. Regretfully, even those powerful nine star heirs met calamitous ends. However, the records only mention some matters related to the nine star heirs. The details of why they were cut down so quickly weren't mentioned. Even so, there was a note saying that the nine underworld hall was built specifically to hunt down nine star heirs. The leader was a mysterious existence from the Nine Underworld Hell. It was said that no one alive had ever seen him, because those that did see him died. It was also rumored that this person had once been defeated by a certain person. That person was the Dark Sect's master, the Night Empress, Yi Wusheng. 
The two of them were said to be the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands two strongest assassins. They were existences that made countless experts quiver in fear. Just like the Nine Underworld Hall's master, no one had ever seen the Night Empress's true face either. Although the Bloodkill Hall's master, Imputa, was also a terrifying assassin, whether it was fame, aptitude, or true power, he couldn't compare to the two of them. The Dark Sect was extremely low-key, supposedly. They had very few disciples, but every single one of them would cause huge waves whenever they appeared. On the contrary, the Nine Underworld Hall was spread throughout every corner of the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. They specialized in gathering information and hunting down Nine Star Heirs while they were still in the cradle. Other than the Nine Underworld Hunters, Nine Star Heirs also drew other killers, such as those from the Bloodkill Hall. As long as it was a matter of money, they didn't have any principles. The most interesting thing between them was that the Dark Sect's disciples rarely assassinated ordinary people. Their targets were usually powerful assassins of the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall. Moreover, it was said that the disciple trials of the Dark Sect were based on the heads of those two halls. This had continued for countless years, perhaps because the Bloodkill Hall and Nine Underworld Hall had countless disciples. They didn't seem to care, of course. The other possibility was that there was nothing they could do to stop this. In any case, Long Chen saw that there had never been a recorded case of the Bloodkill Hall or the Nine Underworld Hall hunting down the Dark Sect, showing that the latter was an incredibly powerful existence. He also saw some information on the Corpse Devil Demon Forest, one of the great danger regions of the immortal world. No life forms dared to get near it. Long Chen instantly thought of Lu Ruiyan because she was from there. However, the Corpse Devil Demon Forest was not in the Heavenly Swell domain that Long Chen was in, so he had no way of joining with her, but he had a feeling that Chu Yao was with her. If they were together, then Lu Ruiyan would definitely bring Chu Yao to the Corpse Devil Demon Forest because that was the only place where she could obtain her full inheritance. In the past three days, Long Chen's head was filled with an ocean of information, even with his almost limitless spiritual strength. He had a splitting headache. However, all this information was worth it. There was still more that he needed to slowly digest. Then Long Chen randomly found a place to sleep. After six hours, his headache was gone. After finishing up the history section, he moved on to the lightning secret arts. This time, he was planning on properly learning some lightning attribute divine abilities. It felt like Lai Long's power hadn't been properly used in many years now. Long Chen, you bastard. Long Chen had just entered the lightning attribute section when he heard a woman's furious shout. Chapter 2982 Luo Ning injured Long Chen turned his head to see an almond eyed woman glaring at him furiously. This pavilion was originally very quiet, so her shout drew quite a bit of attention. When the other disciples saw Long Chen and that woman, they were confused. What is wrong with you? Why are you cursing people? asked Long Chen with a frown. You blasphemed our leader in the Devil Domain battlefield. Our leader might not quibble with you, but that doesn't mean that we forgive you. We will not permit you to blaspheme our most respected leader. I challenge you right here and now. Do you dare to accept? She said coldly. This woman was of average build and looks, but there was a light flickering in her hand from lightning runes. It seemed that she was a rarely seen lightning cultivator. Quite a bit of gossip began to flow between the disciples in the pavilion. Someone from the Heaven Female Alliance is actually challenging Long Chen to a fight? From what she said, Long Chen dared to insult Fairy Shishi? He has gods. This fellow has just entered the Inner Academy, and he already made enemies all around. Now, he's even offended the Heaven Female Alliance. It'll be difficult for him to live in the Inner Academy like this. Yu King King is rank 73 on the Earth rankings. With her Thunder Force, she is extremely powerful. Long Chen probably won't be able to last more than 10 exchanges against her. What an unlucky fellow. He could have offended anyone, but he just had to offend the Heaven Female Alliance. Has he not heard that women are petty that last speaker's mouth was instantly clamped down by someone beside him, who scolded him quietly? If you want to die. Can you not implicate everyone in your guild? However, some people also thought about it from Long Chen's viewpoint. Long Chen's in a tough spot now. Even if he wins, 
People will say that he only beat a woman. If he loses, it'll be even more embarrassing as the disciples quietly conversed. The majority looked at Long Chen with expressions of finding joy in his misfortune. As for Long Chen himself, he was speechless in the face of her challenge. Had he not just teased Bei Shishi with a few words? There was no such immense enmity between them, at least not one requiring fighting. No? Long Chen waved his hand. I can't beat you. You win. After saying that, Long Chen picked up a lightning tome and flipped through it. In any case, he didn't need to spend money. So no matter if the books were useful to him or not, he would read them. That Yu King King was further incensed by Long Chen's indifference toward her. Long Chen, are you even a man? Long Chen laughed and glanced at her. What? Do you need to personally verify it? Quite a few people couldn't help laughing, especially the male disciples. Their laughter was a bit perverted. Most of them didn't feel too friendly toward newcomers, but quite a few of them felt closer to him after this. Perhaps this was a case of lechery bringing people together. Yu King King didn't understand what he meant at first, but seeing those perverted smiles, her face reddened. You. All right. Count me afraid of you. In truth, I was just joking that day. We're all part of the same sect, so no need to take it so seriously. If you feel like I've gone too far, then I apologize. We're all members of the same sect, so there's no need to treat our relationship so stiffly. Long Chen shrugged. Long Chen truly didn't wish to deal with these women, especially when they were so arrogant and never interacted with men, almost viewing them as monsters. What qualification do you have to joke with our leader? If you are really sincere, then you should go to our headquarters to humbly apologize, said Yu King King coldly. Long Chen's expression finally grew frosty. Go to your headquarters and apologize? You came to take advantage. Ha? Huh? My time is very precious. Anyone who dares to waste my time is viewed as my enemy. As for my enemies, they are all dead. If you've grown tired of living, then challenge me to a life and death match. I don't mind using your blood as a warning to those who don't know what respect is. Long Chen's instant transformation caught everyone off guard. At this moment, it felt like the warm divine scripture pavilion had become cold. Some people were shivering. Long Chen's anger was finally ignited. He had endured one step, but this woman dared to push for more. You, you King King shuddered. She didn't want to be scared off just by this aura. But despite trying, she was unable to force any words out. It was like she was facing some merciless ancient monster. If you have guts, then challenge me to a life and death match. Otherwise, scram. All your ailments are the result of others indulging you. Go provoke someone else. Anyone but me. I've killed more people than you've ever seen. So if you don't want to die, get away from me. Long Chen no longer looked at her. He continued flipping through the lightning tomes. Hearing this, Yu King King clenched his fists, her whole body quivering. It was unknown if that was from fear or anger. In the end, she stamped her foot and left. After that, all the disciples here quietly got back to their own work. Long Chen's killing intent just now had made them shake. They had never thought that a person's killing intent could practically condense into solid form and take people's lives. But when that killing intent swallowed them, it felt like a single thought from Long Chen would be able to take their lives. Hence, no one bothered Long Chen anymore. He spent a whole day learning over 700 lightning cultivation arts and 1600 combat techniques. Right now, he was just swallowing everything he could and forcefully memorizing them, sealing them inside his soul. To link up with them in an instant was not possible, but he could forcibly memorize them and then digest them slowly. After the lightning arts, he went to the flame arts. Not having to look at the prices was truly amazing. He practically couldn't stop himself. He was like a wolf that was almost starving to death and then tossed into a meat mountain. No matter how much he ate, it felt like he would never be full. Moreover, these techniques were actually easier to digest than the historical tomes. He didn't get any headache at all Novaloon.com after he had flipped through all the flame element tomes. He went to the cultivation theory region. These tomes were must-reads for instructors. Right now, Long Chen was not yet a heaven master. Although an exception had been made for him, he still needed to go through the examination. 
If he wanted to participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention, he had to first pass the Academy's exam and become a formal Heaven Master. As for the tomes in the other areas, Long Chen decided to first slow down and absorb them bit by bit. After all, food should be consumed bite by bite. Long Chen then spent seven days in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. On the last day, while he was still researching tomes, Mu Qingyan found him. Brother San, Luo Ning has been injured by someone. Chapter 2983 Punitive Forces in the Headquarters of the Luo Gate Luo Ning was deep in a coma, her face pale. Healing experts had just finished up their treatment. There was no danger to her life, but her condition was serious. She wouldn't be waking up for a while. All the Luo Gate's disciples were gloomy. Killing intent blazed in their eyes. Long Chen investigated Luo Ning's condition. He sensed the aura of a terrifying flame energy. Although it had been erased now, the remnant energy still posed a great deal of destructive power that made her recovery more difficult. Furthermore, this remnant flame will was something that these healing experts couldn't erase. Long Chen pressed a hand on Luo Ning's forehead. Luo Bing and the others saw flame fluctuations come out of her head and enter Long Chen's body. It was done by the vice leader of the Heaven Melting Valley. Correct said Long Chen, removing his hand. Her face finally recovered some rosiness, but she was still unconscious. Yes, it was him. Gu Zhen. I had Ning Er go buy some things in the treasury, but she ended up clashing with Gu Zhen. Under his provocation, the two of them arranged a duel, only for Ning Er to turn into this state. Luo Bing looked at her fragile sister, aggrieved and filled with rage. I know him. In terms of true power, he isn't much stronger than Luo Ning. For her injury to be so serious, was it because the other side was intentionally angering her? Asked Long Chen. Ba San, you are entirely correct said one of the Luo Gate's disciples indignantly. That Gu Zhen is absolute trash. When we went to the treasury, he repeatedly insulted us, saying, Well, it's too disgusting to even repeat, but it was completely unbearable. We tried to stop senior apprentice sister Ning Er, but you also know that when her temper erupts, we can't stop her. We could only report it to senior apprentice sister Bing Er, but it was too late. She had already arrived on the martial stage with Gu Zhen. Gu Zhen's words became even more ugly on the martial stage, and senior apprentice sister N Ing Er fell for it, causing her emotions to affect her fighting power. That Gu Zhen is a complete bastard. Long Chen. I'm preparing to challenge Gu Zhen. I'll get revenge for my little sister, but I'll also show everyone that our Luo Gate isn't so easy to bully, said Luo Bing. She had made her determination beforehand, but before taking action, she wanted Long Chen's opinion. He won't accept your challenge. He isn't a match for you, so he won't give you that chance, said Long Chen. It seemed that Luo Bing was still too young. There was quite a difference between her power and Gu Zhen. If she challenged him, she would be mocked, and then Long Yanzong would come out. At that time, they would say that the guild leaders should fight guild leaders. That was the entire principle behind kings against kings, general against generals, soldiers against soldiers, that would be falling for their trap. At that time, as long as Long Yanzong showed himself, the tides would turn. Luo Bing would be stuck between a rock and a hard place at that time. If she didn't accept Long Yanzong's challenge, not only would Luo Ning's humiliation be unavenged, they would also have to face the mocking of everyone from the Heaven Melting Valley. If she did fight, then while she might be powerful, she was facing Long Yanzong who had reached the peak of the Mid-Divine Flame Realm, so she had no chance of winning. When Long Chen explained that, Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, and the others' expressions all changed. They hadn't expected there to be a further trap to this. Those bastards. Are we just going to be schemed against like this? A vein on Li Kei's forehead throbbed angrily. Gather everyone. We'll go to the heaven melting valley. I told you. All schemes are meaningless in front of absolute power. Long Chen waved his hand. All the disciples of the guilds gathered. Heading furiously towards the heaven melting valley. The domineering arrival of Long Chen and the others shocked countless people who began to discuss this and spread word. Long Chen was leading hundreds of people towards the heaven melting valley. They quickly arrived at their headquarters. Long Yanzong seemed to have been waiting for them. 
and his disciples were already waiting at the gates. Ha ha ha, what, you wish to challenge us to a guild battle laughed Long Yan Zong, clearly prepared to fully infuriate Long Chen. Last time, Long Chen hadn't let him go first in the training room, resulting in his mental state being ruined, and costing him a chance of comprehending the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture. He hated Long Chen to the bone as a result, but he had never found a chance for vengeance. But today, he was like a viper. When Luo Ning led people to trade in their points, he grasped his chance. Long Chen suddenly took out a tablet. This was the Luo Gates Guild tablet. A blood-colored mark appeared on top of it. When that mark appeared, everyone from the Heaven Melting Guild, as well as Long Yan Zong, was stunned. The Luo Gate hereby challenges the Heaven Melting Valley to a guild blood battle. There is no rest until death. Does the Heaven Melting Valley dare to accept? Long Chen's voice rang out throughout this region. The tablet on Long Yan Zong's waist quivered. Long Chen's tablet emitted a ray of red light that connected it to Long Yan Zong's tablet. This was an extremely cruel and bloody battle. If Long Yan Zong activated his tablet, it would represent accepting the blood battle. Every person from both guilds would be transported to a separate world where they would fight to the death. One side had to be completely killed in order for the others to leave. Furthermore, this battlefield had a time limit. If no victor was determined within one day, the battlefield would collapse, killing everyone inside. This was one of the bloodiest rules inside the High Firmament Academy. Countless generations of experts had brought up opposing arguments against this rule, wanting to change it. However, no changes went through. This rule remained until this day. This kind of challenge was something no one would use unless their enmity had truly reached an unfathomable level. After all, it was gambling everyone's lives on a bloody battle. No one dared to joke around with it. For Long Chen to simply directly issue this challenge, the Inner Academy was thrown into an uproar. All the guild tablets within the Inner Academy buzzed, alerting people to Long Chen's blood challenge. People rushed over to the Heaven Melting Valley. This person really is a madman a group of dozens of women watched from a distance. Bei Shishi shook her head. Heavens, Fairy Shishi has come. When she appeared, the disciples that had rushed over to watch the show exclaimed in amazement, looking towards her adoringly. Chapter 2984 3 Exchange Agreement Bei Shishi's arrival caused a huge ruckus. In her golden imperial robes, she was like a heavenly goddess, possessing unspeakable dignity and grace. Bei Shishi was also drawn over by Long Chen issuing the blood battle challenge. Such a challenge had not been issued in hundreds of years. Such a challenge could only be issued by a lower ranking guild to a higher ranking guild. That was to avoid higher ranking guilds taking advantage of it to bully the weak. But a weaker guild definitely wouldn't do something as foolish as throwing themselves at a stronger party without some blood sea's worth of enmity. This challenge drew countless people over. Long Chen already had a great deal of fame in the Inner Academy. He was domineering and powerful, but no one had expected that he would dare to lead the Luo Gate into a blood battle challenge against the third rank Heaven Melting Valley. This Luo Gate might be a new force, but their power is shocking. They actually got into the top 30 rankings at one point. Although they fell a few ranks during the past few days, they still remain in the top 50. They can't be underestimated no matter how strong they are. Long Chen was so arrogant as to challenge Long Yan Zong. They're definitely dead. Not necessarily. Have you forgotten what happened during his divine competition? Some people looked favorably on Long Chen, but the majority didn't have a good opinion, thinking that he was courting death with this action. Luo King Guiang had led the disciples of the Luo Alliance here as well. When he saw the Luo Gate's disciples standing behind Long Chen, facing Long Yanzong and the others, his expression changed. It had to be known that there were quite a few disciples of the Luo family in the Luo Gate. If the blood battle started, the consequences couldn't be imagined. In another area, Chu Yang smiled faintly. He quietly watched Long Chen and Long Yanzong face off. He was awaiting a good show. Holding the guild tablet, Long Chen coldly said, a group of useless trash that only dares to scheme against people behind their back. Do you dare to actually fight? Raise that tablet of yours and let's have a real battle. Long Chen was holding the Luo Gates Guild tablet. Once Long Yanzong accepted, he would also be brought to the battlefield. 
At this moment, Long Chen had had enough of the idiots in front of him. It was time to do something big. Long Chen also spotted Chu Yang in the distant crowd watching like a wily fox. He was 90% sure that this was all arranged by Chu Yang. Considering the explosive temperaments of flame cultivators, it was easy to predict their actions. Moreover, with Long Yanzong and Gu Zhen's heads, they couldn't think of such a scheme. Chu Yang must be using them to test Long Chen's bottom line. Chu Yang was crafty. Without an absolute assurance of victory, he wouldn't take action. Such a person liked to test out a person fully before launching a sure kill blow. It was precisely due to this that Long Chen chose to issue the blood battle challenge. If Long Yanzong dared to accept, he wouldn't need Luo Bing and the others to do anything. He would directly unleash one of his ultimate moves to wipe out everyone from the heaven melting valley. This time, he was truly angry. Sometimes, idiots weren't worthy of pity because they brought huge trouble for others. Perhaps that trouble wasn't directly fatal, but it would be one of the many reasons you were wiped out in the future. Back on the Martial Heaven continent, if it hadn't been for the many fools constantly hindering him, then if he had been just a bit stronger, perhaps the old man, Hu Jinying, Ling Yunzi, and the others wouldn't have died. The five sovereigns' heroic spirits might have been able to survive in perpetuity. After that, Long Chen swore to himself not to have any compassion for fools. There would be no teaching them, no warning them. Could compassion correct the entire world? Could it turn evil into good? Could it turn beasts into saints? Long Chen was no saint, nor had he ever thought of being a saint. He was just an ordinary person who wanted to live with dignity. If someone tried to stop him from that, he could only fight back. Long Chen simply looked at Long Yanzong coldly, waiting for his reply. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to be such a schemer. You really are despicable. Over 80% of our heaven melting valleys people just underwent the heavenly flame tempering the soul process and are extremely weak. They can't fight. I thought that you had some pride. But I didn't expect you to be so shameless. You clearly knew we couldn't accept your challenge. Yet you came here so heroically to initiate a blood battle challenge toward us? What's the point? Sneered Long Yanzong. Flame cultivators constantly tempered their souls with heavenly flames. And this passively increased their spiritual strength. But such a method was limited only to flame cultivators and to the immortal world. In the mortal world. A person's spiritual strength was innate and couldn't be improved so easily. However, after tempering their souls, they would be weak for a few days, let alone fighting. Even standing would be difficult. Hearing this, quite a few disciples came to an understanding. No wonder Long Chen dared to challenge him to a guild blood battle. TCH. I thought that Long Chen actually had some ability, but he only came to show off. How meaningless. So it was empty bravado. What a waste of emotion. Countless people felt disdain for Long Chen for this. Only Baisha she looked disdainfully at the crowd's reaction. Although she had only met Long Chen once, she could sense Long Chen's killing intent. He had definitely not come just to scare people. Long Chen also hadn't expected such a turn. He was disappointed and said, Since you can't accept it, let's settle things another way. Didn't you want to fight me? I'll give you a chance. If you can last three exchanges against me without dying, I, Long Chen, will kill myself right here in the High Firmament Academy. What every person present stared in shock at Long Chen. Even Bei Shishi was shocked. Their exchanges, Long Chen thought that he could slay Long Yanzong within three moves. It had to be known that Long Yanzong was the current third rank expert on the Earth rankings, let alone Long Chen. Even Bei Shishi wouldn't necessarily dare to make such a claim. Long Yanzong laughed furiously. These words had truly infuriated him. He was about to speak when Long Chen continued. With your combat power, you're not worth fighting me. But today, you two idiots have really pissed me off. Not killing you would be letting you down. However, before our fight, we'll decide whether or not the fight occurs with another duel. Gu Zhen, you trash. Get out here. Long Chen looked at Gu Zhen. He announced, Don't you feel that you're very strong? As long as you can survive three moves against Mu Qingyan, then she will commit suicide on the spot. The only question is whether you dare to accept it or not. Everyone's expressions once more changed, 
and they stared at Mu Qingyan. Chapter 2985 One Sword Kills Long Chen. You. Even Luo Bing was shocked. Originally, when Long Chen challenged the Heaven Melting Valley to a blood battle, she was surprised, but not afraid. One reason was due to her confidence in Long Chen. She knew that he wouldn't do something he wasn't assured of. Since he dared to do it, he must have his reasons. The other reason was that she had enough confidence in herself as well. After setting foot on the battlefield repeatedly, she had further awakened her bloodline divine abilities. As long as Long Chen could block Long Yan Zong, she was sure she could defeat all the other disciples in the Heaven Melting Valley. However, now that it was Mu Qingyan against Gu Zhen, her heart clenched. That was especially the case when life and death would be decided in only three moves. Gu Zhen was the Heaven Melting Valley's number two expert. He was extremely powerful. Even if Gu Zhen hadn't used despicable means to antagonize Luo Ning, Luo Ning would have found it extremely difficult to defeat him. Now, if Mu Qingyan couldn't beat him in three moves, she would kill herself? That was crazy. However, Mu Qingyan didn't show the slightest nervousness. Her gaze was completely calm as she looked at Gu Zhen indifferently. As long as Gu Zhen can block three of King Gaiyan's moves, she will kill herself right there and then. Then you, Long Yan Zong, will get a chance to fight me, and if I can't kill you in three moves, I will also kill myself right there and then. Are you fighting or not? Decide, said Long Chen coldly. For a moment, everyone was silent. The enmity between the Heaven Melting Valley and the Luo Gate had been spread to everyone. So they all felt disdain for Gu Zhen's contemptuous means. However, Gu Zhen was still rank 57 on the Earth rankings. His power was not low. Although some people could indeed defeat him in three moves, that number of those people definitely did not surpass 10. Mu Qingyan had just joined the Inner Academy. For her to defeat Gu Zhen in three moves was practically a dream. Ha ha ha. Gu Zhen suddenly laughed. All right, I accept your proposal. I want to see just how much ability this girl has. Gu Zhen was smiling widely, as if everything was within his control. He had the utmost confidence in his power. On the other hand, Mu Qingyan didn't say anything. She directly took out her status plate and dripped a drop of blood onto it. The runes on her status plate lit up. Gu Zhen did the same thing. The runes from both status plates merged. After that, the sky shuddered and a large martial stage appeared in the sky. Mu Qingyan and Gu Zhen vanished, reappearing on the stage. Ha ha ha, once they were on the martial stage, Gu Zhen laughed. You really are a group of fools. You wish to defeat me in three moves? Are you dreaming? Why don't you take a look and see what this is? A golden shield appeared in Gu Zhen's hand. That shield had a strange, circular form, looking like a tortoise shell. Four spirit turtle shell. How despicable. Someone recognized it and a wave of curses followed. The four-spirit turtle was a rank three devil beast. It was especially strong in defense, and ordinary experts wouldn't bother trying to attack it. They would try to bait it with poison, and that would allow them to obtain a perfect four-spirit turtle shell. Not only was the shell itself tough in and of itself, but most importantly it had a special ability. A complete and perfect shell could be activated four times to summon an absolute defense protecting a person from all angles and drawing any attacks to the shell. It could be said to be a protective talisman and was extremely precious. With its four activations of absolute defense, and considering that they had agreed to a three exchange battle, it could be said that Mu Qingyan had lost before the fight even started. However, Mu Qingyan's expression still didn't change. She slowly reached back for the sword on her back, grabbing the hilt expressionlessly. After that, she stood in that position like a statue. The moment she grabbed hold of her sword, a flash of shock flickered in Bei Shishi's eyes. Gu Zhen disdainfully sneered. Idiot woman, you're just as idiotic as that woman before. This little pretty boy Long Chen didn't just play with your bodies, but he also played with your emotions without you even being aware of it. Upon hearing this, the killing intent of the disciples from the Luo Gate and the unfettered alliance sword, his mouth was truly vicious. Is Long Chen so skilled in that regard? Let me tell you, you shouldn't be so foolish. You haven't tried out other men. So how will you know if it's good or bad? To tell the truth, I'm very skilled in that regard. 
So why don't you try me? Don't women like playing around? Gu Zhen became even bolder as he continued. Gu Zhen, shut up. Long Yanzong's expression changed. However, he had forgotten that the formation of the martial stage prevented those inside from hearing the people outside. Long Yanzong's expression completely changed when he saw killing intent appear on Bei Shishi's face. All the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were clenching their weapons already. Gu Zhen's words had offended the Heaven Female Alliance's people as well. To infuriate Mu Qingyan, Gu Zhen held nothing back with his mouth, all without realizing that if it weren't for the formation, he would probably have been torn apart by a group of women. Luo Bing and the others had dark expressions. Now they knew why Luo Ning would be defeated so quickly. This person was truly despicable, let alone Luo Ning with her temper. Even the calm-headed Luo Bing couldn't stop being infuriated by him. Chilly killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes. He suddenly felt that the High Firmament Academy might not really suit him. Although the rules could protect him, they also restricted him. He felt like he was unable to suppress his desire to kill. Gu Zhen, are you even a man? If it was just this dirty turtle shell, that would be one thing. But you're actually spouting such garbage? Your ancestors have lost all their faces because of you. Long Yanzong, I never thought you were a good person before. But now I feel like you aren't even a person. Your subordinates are this kind of trash? You also can't be much better curses erupted. And those curses included Long Yanzong. His expression sank. But he couldn't say anything. How could his one mouth beat so many mouths? What? Little girl. Are you shaking? Did I draw out your desire with just a few words? Ha ha ha. Big brother will take care of you. Gu Zhen grew even more pleased when he saw Mu Qingyan begin to shake. Long Chen. Luo Bing instantly grew nervous. That's alright. Mu Qingyan isn't listening to him. I already told her to close off her ears. Said Long Chen. Although Mu Qingyan was quivering. Her gaze was calm. As her body shook, the entire martial stage also began to shake. Its tempo was the exact same as Mu Qingyan's. Gu Zhen's smile froze. He suddenly found that he was locked down by some incomparable will. Just at this moment, her sword came out of its sheath. And it was like a dragon cry. Brilliant sword light tore through the air. When the sword light fell, the four spirit turtle shell along with Gu Zhen were wiped out of existence. The sword chi continued to pierce through the entire formation and destroy the martial stage as well. The only remainder of Gu Zhen's existence was a burst of blood mist and some broken runes. One move. Dead. Noveloon.com Chapter 2986 Intimidation Everyone stared in shock at Mu Qingyan. That one sword caused heaven and earth to shake. Along with every expert, they had never seen such a terrifying sword in their entire lives. Suddenly. The sky shook and the martial stage vanished. Mu Qingyan then reappeared by Long Chen's side, looking slightly pale. People were surprised to see her fluctuations had become extremely weak. In other words, just now, Mu Qingyan had used up all her energy. However, such a thing was completely against the common sense of the cultivation world. A person would need to warm up and slowly release their power. If they used up 30% of their body's total power in an instant, their body would face an immense backlash. A light consequence would be having their meridians torn, but it was also possible that their body would be blown apart. It was just like a stonemason striking a rock. The greater force they struck it with, the greater the backlash. That was why artisans used hammers made of soft wood, not hard wood. It was to neutralize a portion of that backlash. For most cultivators, they could only use soft weapons if they wished to be capable of unleashing half of their total energy in one blow without injuring themselves. However, those kinds of soft weapons were very difficult to use. One mistake and they would die to their own hands. Even for those soft weapons, half their power would be the limit. These disciples had not heard of someone capable of unleashing their total energy in an instant and surviving. For a moment, everyone could only stare in amazement at Mu Qingyan. They were almost unable to believe their own eyes. Noveloon.com Mu Qingyan might be pale, but she looked at Long Chen excitedly. Brother San, I did it. Long Chen smiled slightly and nodded. Not bad. Unfortunately, your control still hasn't reached a high enough level. 
there are still some flaws with your connection to your sword, resulting in you unable to fully synchronize with it. If your mental fluctuations fully became one with your sword, not a trace of your sword's power would leak out. At that time, the martial stage wouldn't be destroyed. Instead, it would be cut in two along with the formation everyone looked at Long Chen in shock. That terrifying sword of Mu King Gaian's was actually still flawed in Long Chen's eyes? Big Sister King Gaian is so amazing. Then can't you get into the top 10 of the Earth rankings? Zhang Ling supported Mu King Gaian excitedly. Long Chen laughed involuntarily and shook his head. That move was of little value in and of itself. It can't be used on a true battlefield. Where are you going to find idiots like Gu Zhen who will cooperate with you like that? Who would just stand there and let you gather power in a life and death battle? That move is of little use against others. Only an idiot like Gu Zhen who spent all his time insulting you so that you get infuriated would get killed. With your ears closed off, you didn't even hear him, but he actually thought your trembling was out of anger, and you were not resonating with your sword. In the end, he only died to his own foolishness. After he was done speaking, everyone realized the truth. It wasn't just Gu Zhen who had been fooled. They had also thought that Mu King Gaian's trembling was from anger. The reason people are so idiotic is because they don't understand what respect is. That's why you shouldn't bully others. Sometimes, you might choose to target someone who won't even give you a chance to kneel and beg for mercy. Long Chen glanced toward the gloomy Long Yan Zong. His most capable subordinate had just been killed. Furthermore, Mu King Gaian's sword was absolutely terrifying. If that sword had been aimed at him, he also didn't know if he could receive it. Long Chen suddenly focused on Chu Yang, who was hiding in the crowd. With a disdainful smile, he indifferently said, Chu Yang, you really are insidious. So you know how to use idiots. And the academy's idiots are actually willing to be used by you. Why take advantage of other people's foolishness like that? If you have any real ability, why not use it openly? Being so treacherous makes others look down on you. Aren't you being a petty little person judging a nobleman? Your enmity with the heaven melting valley is known to all. Throwing dirty water on others like this is truly the conduct of a little person. Chu Yang waved him off with a laugh. I looked down on you before, but now I look down on you even more. After doing something, you don't even dare to admit to it. Does the Chu family have no guts at all? Long Chen turned to Long Yan Zong. You're fortunate. My goal today was originally to kill everyone in the heaven melting valley. But the heavens are helping you. So I didn't succeed. Since I can't pull you up by the roots, I can only settle for the second best thing. Killing Gu Zhen can count as killing the chicken to warn the monkeys. I know there are still many other idiots in the academy. If you wish to continue playing with Boss Long San, then Boss Long San will accompany you. However, I like to go big, and I'm not interested in little squabbles. If you feel like the path of cultivation is too boring and wish to reincarnate already, I welcome you to continue provoking me. In fact, everyone within the Unfettered Alliance and the Luo Gate will be available to you every hour of the day. After saying that, Long Chen left with Luo Bing, Mu King Gaian, and the others. Those domineering words continued to hang in the air. Long Chen, wasn't there also a battle between us? Are you running away? Long Yanzong shouted angrily at his retreating figure. Today. The vice leader of the heaven melting valley was wiped out by the nameless Mu King Gaian. That was a giant slap in their face. If things ended just like that, the morale of the guild would be crushed. The only way Long Yanzong could think of to win back his reputation was to defeat Long Chen here. Are you an idiot? Is your head broken? Ba San already said that you aren't even qualified to fight him. The second battle between you would only start if Gu Zhen could survive three moves. If you don't like it, go to the underworld and drag Gu Zhen back, replied Li Ke disdainfully. In truth, Long Chen had calculated things. He had used himself to bait out Gu Zhen. Even if Gu Zhen was ten times stronger than expected, he wouldn't be able to escape his fate of being wiped out by that sword. However, to kill Long Yanzong in front of everyone within three moves would definitely require him using some of his trump cards. Exposing those just for Long Yanzong wasn't worth it to him. Long Chen, are you afraid? I can get rid of the three-move agreement. 
Let's have a fair battle shouted Long Yan Zong. Everyone looked at Long Chen once more with anticipation. It was said that Long Chen was extremely powerful, but after joining the Inner Academy, it seemed that he had never shown his true power. Even Bei Shishi looked at him. Last time, Long Chen had schemed the explosive flame devil crocodile to death. He had relied entirely on a trick and not his true power. Hence, even she was curious as to just how strong he was. Within the Inner Academy, there were only two people that he couldn't see through. Now, an additional Long Chen had appeared, and she wanted to see how strong he was. If you feel like I'm afraid, treat me as afraid. You can continue provoking me. As for me, I am eagerly awaiting your Heaven Melting Valley's Guild Blood battle with us. Long Chen didn't look back. He left with everyone, but his words made people quiver. As for the Heaven Melting Valley's disciples, they couldn't even keep their fear from their faces. Chapter 2987 Polite words This fellow is truly arrogant watching Long Chen leave. One of the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples spoke up. He even scared senior apprentice sister King King. It seems that he doesn't care about our Heaven Female Alliance. Snorted another disciple. Yu King King had provoked Long Chen in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. After Long Chen had conceded, she pressed him for more infuriating him. As a result, she was scared away by him, causing the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples to think that Long Chen was provoking them. Today, without even having to personally do anything, Long Chen had managed to suppress the third rank guild. Hence, they were displeased. HMPH, young master Chang Chuan hasn't been in the Inner Academy for a long time. If he was here, considering how domineering he is, Long Chen would definitely be put in his place. All right, don't talk behind people's backs. We're leaving. Bei Shishi frowned. She clearly disliked this kind of behind-the-back gossip. That frown caused all those disciples to shut their mouths. Without another word, they followed Bei Shishi away. The rest of the disciples present also scattered. The news of Mu King Gaian killing Gu Zhen in one move rapidly spread. A disciple that had just joined the Inner Academy had killed rank 57 on the Earth rankings. Someone who had experienced countless challenges and whose ranking had never dropped outside of the 60s once he got there. Although Gu Zhen's mouth was hateful, people had no choice but to admit that his power was not fake. Otherwise, he wouldn't have become Heaven Melting Valley's vice leader. Mu King Gaian's fame soared. Countless people memorized this name. Furthermore, after killing Gu Zhen, she naturally took his ranking, becoming rank 57. However, in comparison to that battle, people had been anticipating Long Chen and Long Yanzong's battle more. Long Chen's fame had spread after his battle with Chu Kuang. Even so, after entering the Inner Academy, while he caused some small waves, he seemed to be Loki. No real giant battles had erupted. Hence, People were growing more and more curious as to his power. Just what gave him the confidence to challenge the Rank 3 Heaven Melting Guild to a blood battle with only a group of newcomers? Regretfully, they didn't get to see Long Chen fight this time. So many people thought that this was just empty bravado and that he only used Mu King Gaian's power to carry out an amazing act. Only a minority believed that Long Chen actually had such confidence and that a person like him wouldn't just be showing off and using other people's lives as a joke. All kinds of discussions and guesses spread throughout the Inner Academy. This had truly shaken people. Long Chen was truly a madman who would gamble lives without batting an eye. That made some people look down on him slightly. However, those that wanted to test him gradually abandoned that thought. Long Chen didn't even care about Long Yanzong. If they dared to antagonize him, the consequences would be unthinkable. That was precisely Long Chen's goal, to scare away fools who had nothing better to do. He couldn't let them waste his precious time. By the time everyone returned to the Luo Gate's headquarters, Luo Ning had woken up, but she was still extremely weak. When she learned that Mu King Gaian had killed Gu Zhen, she didn't show much emotion. Long Chen then gave everyone a look to leave, resulting in him being alone with Luo Ning, seeing him smile. Luo Ning angrily said, What are you smiling out? Are you laughing at me? Luo Ning's eyes reddened. She hastily turned away, holding back tears. No, I'm not laughing at you. I just found that I really do like you. 
said Long Chen. Scram over there. Luo Ning blushed. Don't misunderstand. I'm just saying that I like your character. Long Chen raised his hands innocently. Stop it. You already looked down on me. And I. Luo Ning couldn't endure any longer. Covering her face with her hands. She wept. Luo Ning was a stubborn person. And after being humiliated by others this time. Rather than getting vengeance. She only drew more humiliation upon herself and ended up seriously injured. Only she knew just how terrible she felt inside. No matter how tough she appeared on the outside, her inner heart couldn't endure this impact. Long Chen then took out a chair and sat, simply sitting guard over her without saying anything. After crying, Luo Ning had vented a little bit. Seeing Long Chen just looking at her, another wave of vexation washed over her. Do you feel very foolish? Asked Long Chen calmly. Did I ask for you to care? Luo Ning raged. Why would I have to? You're the same as me. We're both very foolish, and often do foolish things, said Long Chen with a smile. Who would believe you? You're like a wily old fox. I'm just an idiot who doesn't have brains or martial power. At least you see yourself clearly. A teapot flew over and Long Chen ducked, causing it to smash into pieces on the wall. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Raged Luo Ning. Don't think of others so badly. I came to advise you. You came to advise me to just kill myself. Long Chen almost laughed. He then put away his smile and solemnly said, I really have no intention of mocking you. I often do foolish things as well. And I swear to the heavens that what I'm saying is the truth. You do foolish things when you're so smart? I don't believe you. Luo Ning looked at him doubtingly. Doing stupid things has nothing to do with someone's smarts. It has to do with character. As for character, it is something difficult to change. For example, if I was the one in your position, I would have made the same choice as you. In fact, with my temper, I might have directly killed him before the martial stage was opened, said Long Chen. Hearing that, Luo Ning's expression softened. Long Chen then continued. An elder that I greatly respected once told me that people who do stupid things might not grow up to be amazing, but those who don't dare to do foolish things definitely won't have any future prospects. If a person could maintain their reasoning and rationality for everything, then they wouldn't even be human. Having lost the human Tao, how could you cultivate the heavenly Daos? These were words that the old man had often told the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. What was worrisome was not someone who caused trouble, but someone who didn't dare to cause trouble. At first, Long Chen hadn't cared too much about these words. However, after all these years, he understood just how right the old man was. Looking back, he had been all too right. You know how to advise people. Luo Ning suddenly smiled, feeling like the crushing weight on her had lightened a great deal. It's not advice but facts. You think I'm smart because you haven't seen me when I'm stupid. But every person has done foolish things. For example, what's wrong with your Luo family's head to suddenly order that women in the family can't marry outsiders? Isn't that nonsense? Long Chen spoke casually, but there was a glint in his eyes. Chapter 2988 Immortal King Zichuan Luo Ning suddenly shushed Long Chen, glaring at him. She whispered. There are so many disciples of the Luo family here. If they hear you say this, they'll instantly turn hostile. It's fine. I'm just talking to you. It's just the two of us. And we're not outsiders. I'm curious why your Luo family would suddenly make such a rule. Did something provoke your family head? Asked Long Chen. Luo Ning hesitated. Looking around, she finally whispered. I can tell you, but you can't tell anyone. Especially not my big sister. Long Chen's eyes brightened. His heart began to beat faster. And he nodded. I swear on the heavens to keep this secret. If I betray this oath. Let me be struck by five colored lightning. This oath was meaningless to Long Chen. The heavens often struck him with the five colored lightning anyway. Fine. Our family head is the most outstanding expert to appear in the past tens of thousands of years in our Luo family as Long Chen expected. Luo Ning's heart was pure. She had no schemes and couldn't keep secrets. As soon as he asked, she was like a sieve leaking everything. The current head of the Luo family was Luo Zichuan, and he became an immortal king at the age of 40. He had spent his life fighting, wiping away any threats to the Luo family. 
It could be said that other than the first generation family head, he had contributed the most to the Luo family in all the family's history. Although the Luo family's history was long, by the time it reached Luo Zichuan's era, they had started to shake. They were surrounded by enemies and crises. The Luo family had been made the target by many enemies. What they revealed on the outside was just to scare others. But in truth, one big battle and they would have been seen through and would have collapsed. The various large powers around them had been intimidated by them. They eyed them like tigers watching their prey. But they also didn't dare to make any rash moves. They just quietly suppressed the Luo family. When Luo Zichuan was a youth. The Luo family fell into crisis. The various large powers around them seemed to have seen through their weakness and began to devour the Luo family's territory and business. The Luo family could not resist them all. They began retreating while going around asking for aid. However, when a nation was weak, its allies fled. The Luo family's old allies and supporters didn't help. Instead, they joined with their enemies, doing their best to fight back. The Luo family was losing countless disciples every year. It was in this kind of environment that Luo Zichuan grew up. At 10 years old, he already stepped on the battlefield. After narrowly escaping death countless times, he activated his ancestral bloodline, and it was said that his bloodline underwent a change due to some opportunity. He then spent 30 years fighting all sides ripping out those forces that dared to invade the Luo family's territory and wiping them out. During these 30 years, rivers of blood flowed. Countless powers asked for peace, but Luo Zichuan ignored them, instead removing them by their roots. Some powerful forces also threatened them for this, but Luo Zichuan refused to submit. He directly said that starting in his generation, the Luo family would die standing. They would not live kneeling. Anyone who interfered was viewed as the Luo family's mortal enemy. Unless they could wipe out the entire Luo family, then as long as there was a single living member of the Luo family, they would fight back generation after generation. This kind of toughness offended many powers, but in the end, those powers were unable to stop the Luo family's vengeance. The Luo family experts wreaked havoc on those that had devoured their territory and businesses. After reclaiming all they had lost, the Luo family reached an unprecedented level of power. Luo Zichuan's life of battle had raised his extremely stubborn character. Hence, the rules that he set down were viewed solemnly by the entire Luo family, with no one daring to resist. The teachings in the Luo family were extremely strict. Luo Zichuan had three wives but only had two sons and one daughter. Furthermore, they were all from one mother. Luo Zichuan raised his children even more strictly with high standards for them. It had to be known that Luo Zichuan only married and had children after reaching the immortal king realm. Thus, his children were shockingly talented, especially his daughter Luo Ningxuang. Her talent was even greater than her two older brothers, and she was definitely qualified to reach the immortal king realm as well. This daughter of his was particularly cherished and loved, but he was also particularly strict with her. Furthermore, this daughter of his had not just inherited her father's strong points, she had also inherited his stubbornness. In the face of her strict father, she often contradicted him and didn't submit despite many punishments. There were many times when immortal King Zichuan shook from rage because of her. At some point, it was said that father and daughter fought, and then Luo Ningxuang suddenly vanished. Apparently, she had stolen one of immortal King Zichuan's lower world talismans going down to the lower plane for adventures with another group of disciples from the immortal world. Immortal King Zichuan's anger was thunderous. He directly gave the order to pursue her, but once in the lower plane, that group split up, every person going in their own direction, so no one knew where she went. Just like that, over 20 years passed. One day, Luo Ningxuang suddenly returned, even after all these years apart, when father and daughter met once more. An even worse fight erupted, when he learned that Luo Ningxuang had married and had a child in the lower world. Immortal King Zichuan was enraged. By having a child so early, Luo Ningxuang had wasted her immense talent. It had to be known that people would only start having children when their cultivation bases had reached the limit. The greater the cultivation bases of the parents, the greater the talent of their children. However, the higher their cultivation bases 
the more the heavenly deos would restrict them, making it more difficult for them to have children. Thus, some experts could be married for thousands of years without having a child. When he learned that she had had children so easily, immortal King Zichuan was so enraged that he directly ordered for her to be tossed into the land of bitter cold, saying that she could crawl out alive from there or simply die. That bastard, Long Chen clenched his fists when he heard this. His mother was actually treated like a criminal. He listened as Luo Ning continued her story. Luo Ning Shuang was tossed into the land of bitter cold, but unexpectedly, she came out on her own. Not only that, but she also cultivated a body of ice energy and even subdued the overlord of that land, the ice frost spirit dragon, turning it into her steed. After coming out, the first thing she did was go to the Chu family. A torrent of blood then baptized three of the strongholds of the Chu family. Millions of their disciples were killed. However, she also ended up disturbing the Chu family's experts. Ultimately, one dragon and one person slaughtered their way out of the Chu family's encirclement, leaving a bloody path behind them. It was said that she was seriously injured after that battle and was hunted down by the Chu family. However, her spirit dragon was too fast, and her pursuers couldn't catch up to her. She then vanished, and no word had emerged about her in over 20 years. Some people said that they had seen her in other domains or that she had created her own power. But Luo Ning was unaware of those details. Ever since the matter of Luo Ning Shuang, immortal King Zichuan gave the order that all the women of the Luo family had to stay within the family and were not permitted to marry outside. No one knew what he was thinking. Do you know what domain she's in now? Asked Long Chen, doing his best to remain calm, but failing to keep his voice from quivering slightly. I don't know, but the elders in the family should be aware of it, said Luo Ning. Long Chen clenched his fists. His mother didn't know if he was even alive. She was definitely tormented every day. He had to grow up quickly. Just at this moment, a knocking came from the door, and Luo Bing walked back in. Seeing that Luo Ning seemed lively, she sighed with relief. The inner academy's disciples are starting to gather. It seems that they have something important to announce. We should hurry over. Chapter 2989 Jilin Immortal Land The Inner Academy's plaza was filled with a sea of people. Almost all the Inner Academy's disciples had arrived, and the locations that they were standing at were carefully chosen based on their guild rankings. The Luo Gate hadn't gone to the Devil Battlefield in a few days, so they had fallen to rank 39. As for the Unfettered Alliance, they were ranked 97 and were also in a spot at the front. However, Long Chen wasn't with them. He was with the instructors. The shocking thing was that Long Chen was standing amongst the Heaven Masters. It had to be known that the God Institute only had four Heaven Masters. The Immortal Institute only had six. And that was the most of any institute in the Academy. The Academy had over 30 institutes but fewer than a hundred Heaven Masters. Some institutes only had a single Heaven Master. As the exam could truly be called difficult. In fact. It was rumored that the exam had to be personally overseen by the dean. It was a heaven-defying level of difficulty. All those instructors were white-haired old-timers, so Long Chen appeared particularly conspicuous amongst them. Long Chen had originally been standing amongst the human rank instructors, but Heaven Master Yun Yang had called him over to stand beside him. Long Chen was trying to be low-key with this many people here, but he was forcefully pulled up causing everyone to stare at him in dumbfounded silence. Even Bei Shishi was astonished. Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan, and the others were all stunned. When had Long Chen become a heaven master Novaloon.com CM even the other instructors didn't dare to believe their eyes. Being stared at by so many people, Long Chen felt unnatural. But now that he was here, he couldn't leave. He simply stood there, acting indifferent. Millions of disciples had gathered along with the instructors. The various experts of the academy were here. Long Chen spotted Chu Huiiren, the head judge, as well as many experts that he didn't recognize. Based on their robes, they seemed to be on the level of institute heads. The fact that all of these figures were gathering shook Long Chen. Just what was happening? Just at this moment, an elder stepped forward and announced, First let me introduce myself. I am the deputy dean. As for my name, I won't mention it as none of you dare to actually say it. 
Long Chen almost laughed. This stiff-faced old man was actually quite humorous. But it was true. No one would dare to say his name even if they knew it. We have gathered everyone today because there is an important matter to announce. I will try to keep it short. So listen closely. Within our martial heaven prefecture lies an immortal land left behind from ancient times. It is an independent star that crosses through the cracks between planes. It passes through our martial heaven prefecture occasionally, but its movements are not always stable. Sometimes it comes once every three years, sometimes once every few decades. What I'm saying is that it is about to appear once more. According to the Six Alley Treaty, the disciples of the six major powers can all enter. This immortal land can be considered its own planar world from the archaic era. For some reason, the human race living inside of it suddenly vanished, but they left behind certain inheritances. The High Firmament Academy has some tomes that were obtained from that immortal land. Later they were translated by the Academy and given to everyone to cultivate. For example, Instructor Long Chen's Starry River of the Sky Art was obtained from that immortal land. The Deputy Dean specifically looked at Long Chen. This startled everyone. Even the Deputy Dean accepted Long Chen standing amongst the Heaven Masters. In other words, he wasn't standing in the wrong place. Long Chen himself was surprised. The Starry River of the Sky Art was something he was using to deceive others and cover up the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. After his battle with Chu Kuang, he never studied it again. That was because he was incapable of training in this technique. When others used their astral power, it was only the power of one star. Despite that, a slip-up could easily cause a body explosion. However, when he used it, it instantly activated the power of all 108,000 stars. Last time, he almost died. Furthermore, he kept getting a feeling that the starry river of the sky art was somewhat connected to the nine-star hegemon body art. It was as if it was a simplification of the nine-star hegemon body art. That mysterious expert had said that without condensing the seventh star, it was forbidden to use the astral power of the cosmos. In other words, Long Chen would be able to use this kind of power in the future, but not now. Hearing that this technique came from this immortal land, Long Chen was intrigued. Perhaps he might be able to gain some clue about the nine star hegemon body art as well. The deputy dean continued, when this immortal land was discovered, there was a broken stell with many ancient immortal characters. However, due to their age, the carvings were unclear. Only two characters could be faintly recognized. Jialin. Thus, that place is called the Jialin Immortal Land. After the Jialin Immortal Land was discovered, it was jointly controlled by nine major powers, and the High Firmament Academy is one of them. After so many years, only six of those powers remain and our relationships are not so friendly. Thus, every time the Jilin Immortal Land opens, a storm of blood erupts. Killing people for treasures is a common occurrence inside. However, there are countless opportunities inside that are very attractive. If you can obtain any treasures inside, you can keep them for yourselves or offer them to the Academy in exchange for other treasures of equal value. The cultivation world is one where danger and opportunity exist together. The strong rise over the weak. It's a cruel world. The six major powers have made an agreement that any enmities that occur within the Jilin Immortal Land are limited to the Jilin Immortal Land and will not be pursued outside of it. In other words, if you are killed inside, the Academy will not get revenge for you afterward. Every disciple can choose whether or not they wish to enter the Jilin Immortal Land. The Academy will not force anything. Everyone should think this over. However, it is up to the guilds to register. Further details will be given to those who register. Due to how important this matter is, let me just give you one final warning. The chances of dying in the Jilin Immortal Land are normally over 50%. The deputy dean left after saying that. Long Chen was speechless. It seemed that he hadn't given them anything useful to go off of. No? Was that it? Once he left, the disciples erupted excitedly. Heavens. I've actually caught up to this generation's Jilin Immortal Land. So what? With your power, if you went, you'd never return. Power isn't everything. Sometimes luck is more important. The disciples began to discuss things loudly like a swarm of bees. Everyone, this is our information on the Jilin Immortal Land. 
the heads of the various guilds should come and take a copy, announced an elder. No need. Everyone from the Heaven Female Alliance will be participating. Bashishi's voice quieted the crowd. She looked toward everyone and said, I should also mention that if you wish to enter the Jilin Immortal Land, don't hope for others to help you. It is a lawless place, a true battlefield. Your enemies will be cultivators, not brainless devil creatures. Don't listen to her nonsense. Isn't killing people much simpler than killing devil creatures? A group of men like yourselves wouldn't be scared by this, right? Just at this moment, a wildly arrogant voice rang out, stunning everyone. Someone dared to contradict the first rank expert of the Earth rankings? Everyone looked over. It was a fair-faced man whose youthful features had yet to even regress. What shocked people was that he was definitely not in his twenties but had reached the mid-divine flame realm. Who is that? Chapter 2990 Bayziol Someone dared to contradict the number one beauty of the academy? Even Long Chen was surprised. Was this person that legendary young master Chang Chuan? However, this person seemed too young. He was pretty handsome, but he gave off the feeling of a large child, having a rebellious expression. As soon as he appeared, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples' expressions grew odd. Beishishi looked cold. She then snorted, ignoring him, and without a second glance, left with her people. Seeing her leave, that man grew even more arrogant, gazing around at all the disciples and disdainfully saying, A group of useless fellows, you're actually scared by a woman. You've lost the dignity of men. Even the instructors looked at him with odd expressions. They didn't scold him however. They were just here to give a lesson to the disciples who wished to participate. Even if it was just a last-minute lesson, it would increase the odds of them surviving ever so slightly. Heaven Master, who is this fellow? Whispered Long Chen. Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled slightly. Who he is isn't important. If you don't like him, you can beat him up if you wish. As long as you don't beat him to death, no one will care. Long Chen was even more confused. There was such a person? The academy was truly filled with marvels. Seeing the other instructors busy counting the number of people, Long Chen didn't wish to just randomly stand there like a fool. He ended up walking over to Luo Bing's side. Luo Bing and Mu King Ian were both waiting for him. Little fellow, you are Long Chen. Long Chen ended up walking closer to that man. The latter cast his gaze at Long Chen, seemingly provoking him. Long Chen shook his head inside. This little fellow had a face asking for a beating. Not bothering with this child, he continued walking. Brat, you're asking for a beating. The man was enraged, and his figure suddenly vanished, startling everyone. Long Chen's hand only swung behind him. Just at that moment, space twisted and the man appeared there, just in time for Long Chen to send him flying with a slap. It was just as if Long Chen had known where he would come from, as if that man had intentionally thrown himself at Long Chen's hand. That man then slammed his foot in the air, causing space to shake. Like a bolt of lightning, he charged back at Long Chen. His reaction speed and quick moves were quite astonishing. Interesting. Long Chen was also surprised. This man, who seemed more like a large child, was actually decently skilled. Various afterimages appeared in the air where he passed. However, pow, he was once more slapped in the face by Long Chen. This time, Space quivered and powerful gusts unfurled. Long Chen's power was several times greater than before. The man shot out like a cannonball, and just as he was about to strike a stone platform, his figure suddenly vanished. He reappeared up in the sky. Spatial divine ability Long Chen was stunned. This brat was clearly extremely young, yet he could already use a spatial divine ability. With his age, there was no way he could come into contact with such profound magical arts, so it had to be an innate divine ability. However, his divine ability was rather stiff. Long Chen could easily sense the spatial fluctuations. If this man could control this powerful divine ability, then his status was definitely not ordinary. Up in the sky, the man looked at Long Chen with overflowing battle intent. He was actually locked onto Long Chen. Seeing that, Heaven Master Yun Yang and the other side, shaking their head slightly, they seemed to pity him. Brat, you have some ability. If you can receive this next attack, I will recognize you as boss. 
the man's figure suddenly shook and split into six. The six figures formed hand seals together. All of a sudden, space was thrown into chaos. It was as if it had been sliced apart. The space around Long Chen, to the front, back, left, right, up, and down were cut off. It was as if six mirrors were pressing down on him from all directions, trapping Long Chen in an entirely separate world. At this moment, space shuddered as if it was about to break, and Long Chen felt it tearing at him. This was definitely an extremely terrifying divine ability. This little brat is growing more and more reckless. How can he use his innate killing move? Heaven Master Dong Ming's expression sank. He was about to interfere, but Heaven Master Yan Yang stopped him. Although his innate divine ability is powerful, with no actual effort in training, he can't threaten Long Chen. Just as Heaven Master Yan Yang said this, a cracking sound rang out. With a single point of Long Chen's finger, the six-sided mirror became covered in cracks. Boom. After that, the six-sided mirror exploded. It was as if a volcano had just erupted. Wild gusts blew across people's faces like blades. Up in the sky, the man turned pale and coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was injured and stared in shock. The many disciples around looked from Long Chen to that young man, not knowing what was going on. The wild gusts that erupted when the six-sided mirror was shattered were enough to prove how terrifying that move was, but it seemed that Long Chen didn't need any effort to break it. It was simply a point of his finger. This child Long Chen isn't bad. He knows that this little fellow is just causing trouble, so he is only giving him a small lesson. Otherwise, that little fellow would be suffering much worse. Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled. Long Chen looked at that stunned young man and lightly said, your talent isn't bad, but your usage of your innate divine ability is too stiff. Your control is rotten. I'd advise you not to use such a technique in the future, as it's a double-sided sword. A mistake will cost you your life. This move was truly terrifying, but this young man didn't know how to use it properly. It was filled with holes. If Long Chen had wanted to kill him, all he would have had to do was wait a moment before breaking it. Then the immense backlash would have taken his life. However, this person had no killing intent, so Long Chen naturally showed some leniency toward him. After speaking, he continued walking away. I, Bei Ziaol, keep my word. Boss, please accept this kowtow from this junior brother. The young man actually knelt on the ground toward Long Chen, stunning both disciples and instructors. The giant plaza was instantly silent. Long Chen was dumbfounded. This youngster might be young but his talent was astonishing. He already possessed such power at such an age. Even Long Chen was amazed by his talent, but he hadn't expected this little fellow to truly call him boss, and so formally at that. Don't joke around. With your talent, any heaven master would be able to give you pointers to make your combat power soar. Your future prospects are limitless. Calling me boss would be a waste of your talent. Long Chen waved his hand dismissively. I. Beiziaol, keep my word. After gambling and losing, how can I renege rage Beiziaol? Up to you. Long Chen shook his head and continued walking toward Luo Bing and the others. Seeing Long Chen not refuse, Beiziaol stood up and followed him. What are you following me for? Long Chen frowned. Since I'm boss's little brother, I naturally have to follow boss. Beiziaol chortled. But that chortle was not a completely innocent one in Long Chen's ears. Wait a moment. You said that you are Bei Ziaol, asked Long Chen. Yes, then Bei Shi she is. She's my big sister, a flesh and blood sister, asked Long Chen in shock. Of course, otherwise wouldn't she have beaten me to death just now, said Bei Ziaol. Your big sister is so powerful. Why not go with her? Why take me as your boss, asked Long Chen. TCH, how am I supposed to follow a woman? He, boss. I might not be powerful, but I possess an innate spatial talent and can sense a person's strengths and weaknesses. In this regard, my sister is inferior to me. I know that you are extremely powerful, so being your little brother is definitely right for me, said Beziaol. Despite being a grown-up, his face still retained a childish youth, making it seem like he was a child that hadn't grown up. With such talent, and considering that the dean is your grandfather, why be someone else's little brother? Boss, you must not know. 
This story is rather long. Please just finish arranging things here, and I'll explain it to you later, said Bezayol somewhat helplessly. To have gained such a little brother, Long Chen felt a bit uncomfortable. He said, I, Long Chen, do not easily accept little brothers. Those who can call me boss are true experts. We will discuss this later. I don't care if you accept me or not. I will definitely call you boss, declared Bezayol stubbornly. Long Chen shook his head. It seemed that this fellow had something wrong with his head. Ignoring him, Long Chen discussed numbers with Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan. The two of them knew a bit more about the Jilin Immortal Land. It was extremely dangerous. They had to face human opponents, and that was the most terrifying thing. After a discussion, they ultimately decided that 300 members of the Unfettered Alliance and 100 members of the Luo Gate would attend. Those who could enter the Jilin Immortal Land had to possess power, intelligence, and the ability to adapt rapidly to multiple possible changes. It was a comprehensive test. Just martial power alone wasn't enough, and a person's survivability was the most important here. So they needed to select people very carefully. The disciples that weren't picked were disappointed, but they all believed in Long Chen's vision. If they were to join them, there was a high chance that they would die inside. Even those that were specially picked had no guarantee of survival. It was still 50-50. In other words, half the people going in were very possibly never going to return. There was nothing to envy about them. However, while the Unfettered Alliance and the Luo Gate were rather conservative, the other guilds didn't have such reservations. Anyone that wanted to could register. They didn't limit them at all. After registering, those people picked a heaven master for a quick personal lesson. However, since Luo Bing and the others had Long Chen, they had no need for such a thing. After that, people quickly returned to their own residences, waiting for the news to move out. The academy had sent word that they would be moving out three days from now, but the exact time had yet to be confirmed. Bei Ziyol then followed Long Chen back to the Luo Gate. Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan and the others felt like he was a shadow tagging along Long Chen, and they felt it to be a bit comical. Zhang Ling laughed. Bei Ziyol, that name doesn't sound domineering at all. My mom gave me that name, saying that she wanted me to live happily. The Xiao is to keep me humble. HMPH, what a rotten name, said Bei Ziyol irritably. One, that appearance of his made Zhang Ling and the others laugh. He truly was just like a large child. In fact, he felt particularly pure and simple. Your name is very good. Only by recognizing the areas that you're lacking will you know what respect is. Those who know what respect is also know what gratitude is, said Luo Bing. Exactly. Brother San's name has a Chen. Two. In it. No matter how small you are, you can't be smaller than a speck of dust. Comforted Zhang Ling. That's right. Bei Ziyol's eyes brightened. It was as if he no longer felt so tied down by his name, leaving people speechless. This little fellow really was simple. Ziyol, why are your sleeves broken? Was it from Brother San's beating? Asked Zhang Ling suddenly, pointing at his sleeve. Ah, that? No, it was from a fight with someone else beforehand. Bei Ziyol looked and shook his head. You fought with someone else beforehand? Asked Zhang Ling. Yup. I heard that the Qi Gate had some genius who cultivated the Plum Blossom divination art. I wanted to find him for his divination skill, but he was so arrogant, saying who did I think I was to ask for his help. Then we started fighting. However, he was incredibly shameless, using his cultivation base to suppress me. He's a four-peak expert, so I naturally couldn't beat him. I had to run, said Bei Ziyol irritably. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu simply stared at him for a moment before bursting into laughter. Long Chen stared at him. His intuition told him that Bei Ziyol didn't know how to lie. Then that meant that he was telling the truth. But if that was the case, this Bei Ziyol's head was definitely not screwed on right. Bei Ziyol didn't even understand why they were laughing at him. Thinking that they were laughing because he couldn't beat that person, he got angry and was about to speak when Long Chen said, Ziyol, let me look into your eyes. Bei Ziyol was confused. He opened his eyes wide for Long Chen to look. After a moment, Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. It's the legendary three-flower pupil. When the three flowers converge, 
the six deos are expelled. Ghost sob. God's weep. Isn't your talent too strong? But when my mom was pregnant with me, her core was injured, resulting in my three flower pupils being inherently weak. Even my grandpa had no way of fixing it. I'll never be able to activate the three flower pupils in this lifetime. Otherwise, my big sister wouldn't be able to look down on me and treat me like I'm trash, said Bayziol sadly. If it's inherently weak, it can be strengthened through other means. Perhaps, I might be able to help you. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Bayziol's three flower pupils made him think of his own purgatory eyes. Perhaps he could borrow the method of the three flower pupils to unleash his purgatory eyes. 1. Bei equals white. Xiao equals little. Li equals happy. 2. Chen equals dust. Chapter 2992 Palace Master Originally, Long Chen didn't want to bring Bei Ziyol around. One reason was because of his special status. After all, he was Bei Shishi's little brother and the dean's grandson. Long Chen disdained getting glory using other people's status. The other reason was if Bei Ziyol followed him, then considering his perilous path, one mistake and Bei Ziyol would meet a terrible end. If that happened, he wouldn't be able to explain himself to the dean. Moreover, Bei Ziyol definitely had something wrong with his head. Even at such an age, his thoughts were more like a child's. If it was because of his mother's injury while being pregnant with him, that was understandable, as that affected his talent. To put it bluntly, he had some deficits when it came to his intelligence. Even so, he was dead set on following Long Chen and couldn't even be shooed off. So Long Chen had him follow him for now while he thought of studying his three flower pupils. As Bei Ziyol was not even registered as a disciple of the Inner Academy, he couldn't join the guild. That was simple though. Long Chen had Bei Ziyol take the exam however. When Long Chen saw the results of the exam, he almost died. 40 multiple choice questions, with some only having two choices, and you somehow managed to not get a single one right. Tell me, how did you manage to avoid all the right answers so accurately with Bei Ziyol's talent in cultivation? There was no need for him to go through the normal exams. However, an inner academy disciple did have to go through some comprehensive tests one of those being about fundamental knowledge. Those were all very simple questions, but Bei Ziyol somehow managed to avoid all the correct answers. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others tried not to laugh, because that might make Bei Ziyol think that they were making fun of him. But Long Chen's inconceivable expression and Bei Ziyol's innocent appearance were too much for them. Boss, this thing is too hard, exclaimed Bei Ziyol helplessly. Long Chen then took a deep breath. If Bei Ziyol really couldn't answer such simple questions, then he had a feeling that helping him activate his three flower pupils would be impossible. At this moment, Luo Bing comforted Bei Ziyol, seeing how pitiful he seemed. They all began to give him some tips and pointers. After all, with his high cultivation base, for him to get stuck on such a simple trial would be too much of a pity. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, and Zhang Xiu tried to teach him how to answer the questions, but in just a bit, Luo Ning's temper flared and she almost grabbed Bei Ziyol by the collar. In the end, she couldn't endure it any longer and left, with Luo Bing and the others' help. After seven attempts at the exam, Bei Ziyol finally barely passed, becoming a formal Inner Academy disciple. He was incredibly excited. Through this interaction with Bei Ziyol, they realized that despite possessing an illustrious status, Bei Ziyol didn't get much special treatment. Other than being able to roam around the academy, he had no privileges. That was why people didn't know of him. Even when he offended someone who beat him up, no one did anything Novaloon.com Furthermore, despite being brother and sister, Bei Shishi was not very close to him. According to Bei Ziyol, the two were like enemies. Bei Shishi not only treated him very coldly, but she even treated their father coldly. It was as if she felt dislike for all men. However, the way he spoke wasn't logical. He would sometimes randomly bring up things that seemingly had nothing to do with the current topic, making it difficult for everyone to understand. Overall, they all felt him to be very pitiful. His big sister looked down on him, 
and his father and mother didn't really seem to care about him. Even the dean, his grandpa, was an existence almost forgotten from his memory. It seemed that his family didn't care much about familial relationships. Furthermore, according to Bezaiol's rambling, his father was a fierce person who often beat him. Every time, he beat Bezaiol half to death, leaving them questioning the veracity of such a thing. Was there really such a father in this world? This family was truly unique. Originally, Long Chen didn't like having someone following him, but seeing Bezaiol's pitiful appearance, he didn't have the heart to reject him. Hence, after registering, he added Bezaiol's name to the list for the Jilin Immortal Land. Upon learning that he could go to the Jilin Immortal Land, Bezaiol was so happy that he danced around like a child. Even at such an age, he had yet to leave the academy and see the outside world. As a result, Bezaiol became Long Chen's little attendant, following him everywhere. Now, they only needed to wait for news from the academy. While they said it would be three days, it was on the fourth day that it was confirmed that they would be leaving the next day. Long Chen was resting within the Luo Gate, keeping his mental realm clear so that he could be in his peak condition. However, he suddenly heard a ruckus outside, followed by Bezaiol's mournful wail. Startled, he rushed out to see a large middle-aged man. He was built like an iron tower and had some long facial hair. He was chasing down Bezaiol. Luo Bing and the others were in front of him blocking him, but with just a wave of his hand, they were sent flying. Luo Ning even coughed up blood. Bezaiol was terrified and was already bloody and bruised. Seeing Long Chen appear, it was as if he saw his savior. Boss, save me. Just at this moment, the large man stamped his foot on Bezaiol's abdomen. It was an extremely ruthless move. Bang. Long Chen appeared in front of Bezaiol, stamping his right foot on that man's leg. As a result, his body shuddered and a sharp pain burst from his foot as if he had kicked solid iron. He was forced back two steps. Long Chen was shocked. This person's cultivation base was not something he could see, as he didn't emit any immortal Yuan fluctuations. Just his physical body was enough to knock Long Chen back. As for that man, his body swayed from the impact, and Bei Ziyadol shot off. Scram. Seeing Bei Ziyadol want to run, that man angrily unleashed a punch at Long Chen. This fist actually showed signs of space tearing. Under that pressure, Long Chen couldn't even breathe. It was as if his insides were being squeezed out. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring then erupted into existence behind him, and his fist became covered in dragon scales. As their two fists collided, its chi wave blew apart some small pavilions set up around the headquarters of the Luo Gate. The disciples inside the headquarters were also blown back miserably. It was only by summoning his divine ring and dragon scales that Long Chen was capable of just barely receiving this man's casual blow. However, his arm was now a bit numb. Scram. The man was startled. He then turned his hand, reaching out to grab Long Chen's wrist and throw him into the distance. However, just as his hand grasped down on Long Chen's wrist, Long Chen's wrist slipped out of his palm, flinging that man's hand away. Startled. The man furiously punched Long Chen again. This time, both of them were sent flying. Long Chen felt a sharp pain in his head, and stars swam in his eyes. He had been struck in the head by that fist, and a large lump grew out. Long Chen was enraged. He was about to summon his six-star battle armor when a cold shout rang out. Who dares to be so brazen as to, as to, palace master? Why, why are you here? The destruction of the Luo Gate's headquarters had caused an alarm, and other experts rushed over. But when they saw that man, their eyes almost popped out of their heads. Chapter 2993 A Marvel Father and Mother Luo Bing and the others were stunned. This fiendish man had come to the Luo Gate, and without even saying anything, started beating Bezaiol as soon as he saw him. He was like a wild dragon in terms of power sending them flying without the slightest ability to fight back. Just the wave of his hand unleashed a wild gust that they couldn't resist. This person was called Palace Master? These experts that had been drawn over here by the alarm were from the battle god Palace. Hence, for them to call him this and their shocked expressions, this Palace Master was also shocked. Blood was leaking out of his mouth. Just now, he had struck Long Chen. 
but Long Chen had also struck him. While Long Chen was left with a lump on his head, the corner of the palace master's mouth was split open by Long Chen's fist. These experts were all stunned, looking from Long Chen to the palace master. Brat, you have some ability. Report your name, barked that man. Long Chen was dumbfounded. The academy only had one palace, the Battle God Palace. Since these people were from the Battle God Palace and had called him Palace Master, Long Chen had actually fought against the head of the Battle God Palace? Before Long Chen could even reply, Bei Ziaol, who had been wailing like he was castrated, ran over, hiding behind Long Chen and shouting, Old fellow, are you afraid now? Other than bullying me, what else can you do? Let me tell you. Make sure you don't fall when you hear who this is. This is the Academy's mighty and famous boss Long San, who is like the sun in the sky, a dragon in the sea. Curiously, Bei Ziaol's mouth became quite adept at this time. They were orderly. He only saw the blood leaking out of the palace master's mouth and not the lump on Long Chen's head. Thinking that the palace master wasn't a match for Long Chen, Bei Ziaol became completely unbridled. Now that I have a boss, I have a backer. You think you can beat me? Then you'll have to ask my boss to see if he consents. If you have guts, then come. Have a real battle between men with my boss. Bring out all your power, and my boss will beat you with just a single hand until you piss yourself. While Bei Ziaol grew crazily arrogant, Long Chen himself was lacking confidence. That man was the master of the battle god palace, and his cultivation base was at an unknown realm let alone an expert like this. Even those existences like Han Feng or Wang Chong could crush Long Chen with a single palm. Long Chen sighed inside. Bei Ziaol, you really view your boss highly. You want me to beat him with just a single hand? However, Long Chen didn't reveal any fear on the outside. Little brat, I'm beating you for your own good, raged the palace master. HMPH, do you think I'm a child? Snorted Bei Ziaol disdainfully. Stop wasting words. I'll show you my boss's peerless divine power. Seeing Bei Ziaol's confidence, Long Chen had an urge to slap him. Was there really someone who conned their bosses like this? But even if he was being conned, he couldn't explain himself. The arrogance from the depths of his soul wouldn't allow him to lower his head. Right now, the palace master was ashen with rage. Just as he opened his mouth, space shook and a burst of fragrance blew through the air. A middle-aged woman in green robes appeared. She looked to be in her thirties and had a beautiful appearance. Her aura indescribable. It was as if the entire world was under her control. Upon seeing her, Long Chen's heart jumped. This was a terrifying expert. As soon as she appeared, she saw the blood stain on the palace master's mouth and laughed. You're injured. If you saw it, just keep it to yourself. Why do you have to mention it? The palace master had healed his wound without anyone noticing what technique he used. The woman didn't mind. She then looked at Bei Ziaol and smiled warmly. Ziaol, come hug your mom. Long Chen and the others came to a sudden understanding. So this woman was Bei Ziaol's mother. Then the man had to be his father. It seemed that Bei Ziaol hadn't been spouting nonsense when he said that his father was constantly beating him and was extremely fierce. Bei Ziaol hid behind Long Chen. Looking at that woman, he shook his head. No, both of you are on the same side. One white face and one black face. One giving candy and one giving slaps. Now that I have a boss, I've learned how to escape your devil claws. Long Chen, Luo Bing, and the others were all surprised. Bei Ziaol's mind was actually quite good today. His line of thinking was surprisingly clear. Even the palace master and that middle-aged woman were astonished. As Bei Ziaol's parents, they knew Bei Ziaol's issues the best. Although he had inherited immense talent, in terms of intelligence, he had some congenital deficiencies, resulting in them being unable to raise him like a normal person. However, today, his line of thinking was very clear. He even saw through the two of them and the methods that they had used against him for so many years. We'll leave things here today. Brat, I'll remember that punch of yours said the palace master coldly. Long Chen rubbed the lump on his head and snorted. I'll also remember that punch of yours. If you don't like it, you can suppress your cultivation base to the divine flame realm and we can fight again. 
The palace master's cultivation base was so high that Long Chen couldn't even sense it. But after suffering this much, he was extremely irritated. If the palace master was willing to suppress his cultivation base down to his level, Long Chen was willing to have a real fight with him now. What nonsense. It's possible to suppress one's realm, but you can't do it when you are three realms apart. Long Chen, don't be so irrational to the palace master, said one of the experts of the battle god palace. Long Chen was actually provoking their esteemed palace master. They couldn't accept it. All right, you should go back now. I'll exchange a few words with this little fellow, said the middle-aged woman. The palace master glared at Long Chen and stepped away. Just like that, he vanished into space. Hey, you're going to run, shouted Long Chen. Don't worry, we'll compensate you, said the middle-aged woman with a smile. All right, then due to Ziaol's face, I won't quibble with you about the other things. If it was someone else, I would definitely demand some cost of living expenses for my brothers who are struggling to get by, said Long Chen. Suddenly, a ray of light fell out of nowhere. Long Chen and the middle-aged woman both vanished, shocking everyone else present. Crack, 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 boom. It felt as if countless chains were binding him. In that instant, the nine-star hegemon body art automatically activated, and the primal chaos bead shook intensely. The surrounding space exploded. When the space around him shattered, the middle-aged woman once more appeared in front of Long Chen. They were in a desolate world and they could see the stars in the distance from here, as expected. You are a dangerous person. The middle-aged woman looked at Long Chen with some shock. Chapter 2994 Karma Are you testing me? Asked Long Chen darkly. The middle-aged woman smiled slightly. Don't be angry. As my son's boss, you can count as my junior. I'm just joking with you. Bei Ziaol's mother was truly terrifying. It was unknown what method she had used but she had actually provoked the power of the primal chaos bead. If she was an enemy, he would be truly doomed. That was his greatest secret. However, he was still angry. Even though he didn't sense any malice from her, his expression was ugly. Haha, <laughs> the nine star line does have explosive tempers. I already said it was just a joke. Why do you need to look like that? After all, if my foolish son wishes to be with you, I naturally must test you to see who you are, but I didn't think you were such a dangerous person, said the woman. Long Chen felt profoundly powerless. This person had also seen through his identity. Then it wouldn't be too long before he was exposed. Don't worry, I was able to see through your status because our line has a certain connection with the Nine Star Line. Furthermore, I used my innate ability just now. There are not many inheritances in this world that my divine ability cannot see through. For it to be repelled in such a domineering fashion from just a look, even forcing karma onto me, then it could only be a handful of techniques. That still wasn't enough to confirm that you were a nine-star heir though. So I tested you with my words just now. And well, everything is confirmed now, said Bei Ziaol's mother with a smile. Long Chen bitterly smiled. I really am still too young. I should have been able to tell you were a nine-star heir from the start. However, your character is different from other nine-star heirs. So I had to test you. The nine-star heirs I know of are all lone wolves. They are so domineering and cold that no one can be near them. They are wild and dangerous. However, you are different from those nine-star heirs. You can actually get along very well with others. I cannot comprehend such a thing said Bei Ziaol's mother. Get along very well with others. Long Chen shook his head. He hadn't been in the academy for long, but he already had enemies everywhere. Did that count as someone who got along well with others? Nine star heirs are solitary existences with no family or friends. They have nothing tying them down, nothing that they care about. They are the bane of others' existence. Madman no one dares to provoke, because as soon as a nine star heir is provoked, they will fight recklessly without even caring about their own lives, all to protect the dignity of nine star heirs. Due to this character, nine star heirs rarely manage to grow up. They don't know how to endure and will jump into obvious traps without hesitation. It's a distressing level of stupidity, but no one can change their character. You, however, are different from them. You have a slight softness to you. 
that slight softness might let you live longer. If you were the same as other nine star heirs, even if I had to break my son's legs, I wouldn't let him go with you, said Bezayol's mother. Senior, you've seen other nine star heirs, probed Long Chen. You will also see them in the future. Bezayol's mother didn't directly answer him. Instead, she gave him a square jade plate. If you encounter some danger that you cannot handle, you can crush this. It will save your life. I leave Ziaol to you. After saying that, Bei Ziaol's mother vanished. As for Long Chen, he appeared in the ruined headquarters of the Luo Gate with the jade plate in his hand. Boss, did my mom say anything to you? Did she threaten you to drive me away? Asked Bei Ziaol worriedly. No, not at all. Your mom has given permission for you to follow me. Long Chen shook his head and probed Bei Ziaol's injuries. He was injured all over with even his bones broken and his internal organs damaged. That father of his had not been light-handed. However, Long Chen found that these wounds were healing on their own without any medical aid. Furthermore, there was some kind of special energy within those wounds. Long Chen was startled and suddenly understood. Bei Ziaol's father definitely had his own reason for beating Bei Ziaol. He was infusing his own energy into Bei Ziaol's body. That would be his foundation for cultivating to send his own life's core into someone else's body, that was not so simple, it came at an immense price, like shortening a person's lifespan, it was no wonder Bay Ziaol's cultivation base progressed so quickly even with such low intelligence, so it was all thanks to Bay Ziaol's father, Long Chen also realized what his father and mother were thinking, in order to keep their energy locked within Bay Ziaol's body longer, they needed to leave a deeper impression, to leave a deep impression on Bei Ziaol, it needed to either be a happy memory or a painful memory. Painful memories were always remembered more deeply. Thus, every few months, the palace master would viciously beat Bei Ziaol. But every time he did, his own heart was pained. He couldn't say it, but neither of them had any other solutions. Realizing this, Long Chen was moved inside. He couldn't help thinking of his own parents. If he could see them, he would be willing to be beaten every day. Ziaol, take this jade. This is my peerless killing divine talisman. If your life is in danger, crush it and boss will descend from the heavens to save you. Long Chen handed the jade plate to Bei Ziaol. Long Chen didn't say that it was given by Bei Ziaol's mother. He knew that in Bei Ziaol's mind, his father and mother weren't worthy of trust. Since Bei Ziaol treated Long Chen's words as true, he excitedly took it. He was very careful, as if afraid he might accidentally break it, within the void, with layers of space folded around them so no one could see them. Bei Ziaol's father and mother quietly watched as Long Chen handed the jade plate to Bei Ziaol. Bei Ziaol's mother sighed. Nine star heirs really are arrogant. They disdain accepting other people's favors. That little fellow's not bad. He's worthy of being my son's boss. TCH. Fine. I won't quibble with him over that punch, said his father, Zhantang. Do you think that this is the will of the heavens? If it wasn't to save that nine-star heir back then, I wouldn't have been injured, and Ziaol wouldn't be like this. Now Ziaol has encountered Long Chen, and he has changed. Is this the workings of destiny? Bei Ziaol's mother looked at Long Chen and Bei Ziaol. HMPH. Who cares if it's destiny? If it weren't for my father not permitting it. I'd have long since dragged out that bastard and gotten our vengeance. Who cares about a disciple of Brahma? If they didn't have numbers, and it was instead one against one, I'd have definitely been able to kill him, said the palace master irritably. The dean's wisdom is unfathomable. He understands the workings of the heavens, so he naturally has his own reasons for not letting us get revenge. Our vision is too short-sighted. We should listen to him, advised Bezayol's mother. Fine, I won't bother with those things. Since my father can accept a nine-star heir into the academy, I feel like sooner or later, we'll have another chance to fight against Jia Luo. If that chance comes, I'll definitely kill him for you and Ziaol. All right, let's go. However, I feel like your chances for revenge aren't high. What? Are you looking down on me, fool? I just mean that you won't have that chance. Within the cycle of karma, the one to settle things might not be you. Jia Luo injured me, but he has also slain an unknown number of nine-star heirs. 
Bei Xiaol's mother looked at Long Chen with a profound smile. Her actual combat power was not as high as the palace masters, but she had a special innate divine ability to see through a person's potential. Bei Xiaol had also inherited a bit of that ability. He might not even be aware of it, but this was why he was determined to follow Long Chen. As for herself, she was even clearer than him on just how terrifying Long Chen was. This was something that even the palace master was unaware of. I have a feeling that rivers of blood will flow this time in the Jilin immortal land, said Bei Xiaol's mother. Chapter 2995 Starting a slaughter the day finally arrived to move out. Of the almost 5 million disciples of the Inner Academy, over 1 million had registered to participate. Seeing those excited faces full of anticipation, as if they would be finding all sorts of treasures inside. Long Chen sighed inside. The Academy's attitude was truly one of letting nature take its course. A portion of these disciples only possessed very average power. Once they went in, if a battle occurred, the chances of them surviving were far too low. Long Chen couldn't see any toughness in them. They were not true warriors at all. When the threat of death came, under that pressure, just how much of their power would they be able to unleash? The Academy had explained the danger to them, but clearly, many people didn't care about the Academy's words. Long Chen thought of what the sweeping elder said. A person's fate was very difficult to change. You could help them once, but you couldn't help them for a lifetime. If they were fated to grow up, then suffering earlier would be best. So the Academy didn't meddle with disciples too much. This attitude looked a bit cold. But this kind of attitude had its own wisdom behind it. Before this, Long Chen hadn't been able to understand, but he gradually figured it out. The Academy's attitude was in accordance with the laws of the Heavenly Deos. Although he didn't entirely approve, he had to admit that those who followed the Heavenly Deos always lived a bit longer. He felt that the sweeping elders' words were correct, and he had even questioned himself. But he quickly found that his own attitude wasn't wrong either. That was because what everyone was pursuing was different. The Academy's attitude was one for long survival, while Long Chen's attitude was one willing to be a brilliant firework. As long as the firework was bright enough, as long as all his power was unleashed at that moment, once the firework was over, once everything was over, he would have no regrets. At this moment, with some light encouragement from the Deputy Dean, Millions of Inner Academy disciples set foot onto the transportation formation. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the one leading the way was Chu Hua Iron. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. What was the Academy thinking to let that clown lead the way? Was that to make things hard on him? However, he didn't say anything. Chu Hua Iron was the one arranging the order for people to enter, and Long Chen saw a sinister glint in his eyes. Long Chen then quickly understood the meaning behind that smile. The Academy's disciples were going through the transportation formation in batches and then taking flying boats to the Jilin Immortal Land. However, Long Chen was in the same batch as the Luo Gate, Heaven Melting Valley, and Chu Alliance. Other than the Heaven Melting Valley and the Chu Alliance, the other guilds in that batch were all their allies who were hostile to the Luo Gate. As for the Unfettered Alliance, they were sent through a different batch. Chu Hua Iron was intentionally separating them. Long Chen, how can the Academy do this? Shouldn't we? Luo Bing was enraged. The Academy was being crazy. What was the meaning behind this? She wanted to demand her rights. This was practically a death trap. No need. I understand what the Academy is thinking. Long Chen shook his head, smiling. Their group then entered the transportation formation and vanished. Heaven Master Yun Yang and Heaven Master Dong Ming were standing together, watching Long Chen vanish. Heaven Master Dong Ming shook his head. I really can't understand what the higher ups are thinking. Are they not afraid of letting Long Chen down and giving up hope on the Academy? Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled. Letting him down? No. Long Chen won't feel that way. He'll be grateful. Long Chen and the others appeared on top of a large mountain surrounded by mist. It was as if this was the end of the world. It was filled with a desolate and ancient feeling. At the end of the mist, he saw a star slowly rising and getting closer and closer. Its light gradually infected this entire space. This was the Jilin Immortal Land, a lost world, a star whose inheritance had been severed suddenly. 
a place filled with unknowns. When that star appeared, the first batch led by Baishishi flew toward the star, then it was the second batch, the third batch. Long Chen was part of the fourth batch. When he got close to the star, space began to twist. The star had its own force field. Long Chen felt that the flow of time here was different from the immortal world, but he was unable to grasp whether it was faster or slower. Long Chen suddenly thought of when he had entered the immortal world. His age was somehow different from when he was on the Martial Heaven continent. Perhaps that was related to the flow of time. The Martial Heaven continent's laws were incomplete, and the Jilin Immortal Land was the same. This was a remnant star. The High Firmament Academy's disciples quickly flew into the Jilin Immortal Land in flying boats. But suddenly, Long Chen's flying boat shook intensely. An explosive sound came from the tail. The tail of their flying boat had been struck by another flying boat, causing their speed to drop. Courting death, Luo Ning was enraged. The flying boat that struck them belonged to the third ranking guild, the Heaven Melting Valley. Sorry, we slipped up with the controls. Long Yanzong's lazy voice rang out. His voice didn't contain the slightest apologetic tone, and it was extremely provoking instead. They damaged our flying boat to lower our speed so we can't escape. They are truly planning on tearing off any face and fighting with us, said Luo Bing. The Luo Gates flying boat quickly fell to the rear. The ones at the front were already charging into the Jilin Immortal Land, but they didn't immediately scatter. Instead, they formed an encirclement. The ones in the batches ahead of them had rushed off in search of treasures. Only Long Yanzong, Chu Yang, and the others slowed down. Bastards, you dare to be so openly brazen. Luo Bing clenched her teeth furiously. Chu Yang and the others had to have obtained the tacit approval of the Academy to act like this to them. Clearly, the higher-ups have been bought by the Chu family. We can only fight to the death. Luo Bing took a deep breath, and her blood chi began to slowly circulate. However, they were facing so many experts. Despite having a cool expression, she was full of nervousness inside. She couldn't help looking at Long Chen. She saw that Long Chen was smiling. His mood was particularly good. You should have more confidence in the academy. The higher-ups of the academy cannot be bought by those idiots from the Chu family. It's the opposite. We should thank the academy for giving us such a good opportunity. Luo Ning, detonate the speed talisman and crash into the heaven-melting valley's flying boat. Let's get off to a good, red start. Long Chen was already walking to the front of the flying boat. Following his orders, the rear of the flying boat exploded. The slow flying boat suddenly shot toward the heaven melting valley's flying boat like a bolt of lightning. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you wish to die together? Keep dreaming. Long Yanzong's mocking voice rang out. After that, formation runes appeared on top of their flying boat. Boom. The flying boats crashed into each other but were separated by the formation runes. The two flying boats were kept 300 meters apart. Die together? You think you're qualified? Long Chen sneered. A 3,000 meter sword containing endless flame energy suddenly slashed toward Long Yanzong's boat. Boom. The heaven melting valley's flying boat was able to block a flying boat but not a divine flame sword composed of 10,000 heaven shaking swords. Hence, the flying boat was cut in two and the disciples inside didn't even have a chance to scream before being turned to ash. I really have to thank the High Firmament Academy. Thank you for this chance to start a slaughter. I see killing intent filled Long Chen's face. It was as if a slumbering dragon was waking with anger. Only one person fled from the broken flying boat. That was Long Yanzong. A mix of shock and anger on his face. Before he could say anything, Long Chen stamped down on the air and shot toward him. Didn't you want to fight me? Then let's fight. Chapter 2996 Vicious Killing Long Chen's flying boat had originally been surrounded and forced into a passive position. However, Long Chen struck against the heaven melting valley first. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others didn't even have a chance to react before Long Chen attacked. He had given them no warning, and by the time they reacted, they saw Long Chen already covered in flames and surrounded by runes. 10,000 flame swords bloomed like a lotus and slashed at Long Yanzong. Long Chen, today is the day of your death. Long Yanzong was furious. Just now, if it wasn't for his divine flame protection, he would have died. 
Long Chen was too vicious. In the face of Long Chen's attack, Long Yanzong formed hand seals, and sacred chanting rang out, his flame soared. As his flames rose, a giant flame beast appeared inside, and it made the world shudder. It then opened its mouth wide and swallowed Long Chen. Even space shuddered as if it was being devoured. This was a terrifying magical art. Boom. That flame beast's head suddenly exploded and 10,000 flame swords shot out. This flame beast was unable to endure a single blow from Long Chen's heaven-shaking swords. When his flame beast exploded, Long Yanzong coughed up a mouthful of blood. That was his life spirit beast. Although he hadn't fully raised it, its power was still astonishing. It was one of his strongest killing moves. However, Long Chen's flame swords were incomparably sharp, not only piercing through his flame runes but also his beast. His spirit beast soul was suppressed. It had to be said that Long Yanzong was very unlucky. His flame spirit beast was a merger between the spirit of fire and a devil beast spirit. It was something almost indestructible, capable of freely changing form. As long as the main body didn't die, the flame spirit beast wouldn't die either. However, coincidentally, Long Chen's heaven-shaking swords were made from the devil crystal of the explosive flame devil crocodile. It contained the spiritual pressure of that devil crocodile, which happened to suppress Long Yanzong's spirit beast. That was why his flame spirit beast was unable to bear a single blow. The destruction of his flame spirit beast caused Long Yanzong to feel like his head was being split open. He vaguely sensed Long Chen rushing over at him, and he hastily summoned a flame shield. But that flame shield had just formed when Long Chen's fist blasted it apart. Continuing onward, Long Chen's fist struck Long Yanzong in the chest. Boom. Long Yanzong's body exploded and turned into a blood mist. This explosion of red was the final brilliance of Long Yanzong's life. Long Yanzong died. Luo Bing and Luo Ning couldn't believe their eyes. The third rank expert had been killed just like that? It was too fast. So fast that it ended before it even started. Just as Long Chen struck Long Yanzong, he was surrounded by over ten figures. Those were the top experts of the various guilds. Five of them were even the heads of their guilds. Originally, they had come to help Long Yanzong prevent Long Chen from running. In their eyes, Long Chen would definitely die against Long Yanzong without their interference. Hence. They had never expected that the terrifying Long Yanzong would be killed with a single punch without even having a chance to unleash his true power. Using the Nirvana scripture in front of me, Long Chen sneered. If Long Yanzong had used a different technique, it would have been more difficult to kill him. However, the Nirvana scripture was something etched deep in Long Chen's bones. So the flame energy that Long Yanzong had summoned with the Nirvana scripture could be easily controlled by Long Chen. That flame beast was not made purely of the power of the Nirvana scripture, so it required some effort to destroy. However, the flame shield that Long Yanzong had summoned at the end was entirely composed of flame energy from the Nirvana scripture, so Long Chen's punch blasted through it without any resistance. Long Yanzong's flames had even ended up assisting Long Chen's punch. Long Yanzong didn't even understand how he died. He probably still had many powerful techniques up his sleeve. But regretfully, he would never have a chance to use them in the future. At this moment, Long Chen suddenly reached out and clawed the space behind him. His voice like thunder. Get out here. A flame claw appeared in the air, tearing the space and revealing a figure. This figure was originally hidden within the void but was exposed by Long Chen's claw. Everyone was shocked. None of them realized there was someone hidden there. This figure's concealing arts were truly terrifying. Just at this moment, an arrow silently appeared, shooting straight for Long Chen's head. The arrow truly did pierce through a head, which then exploded. But that head wasn't Long Chen's. It was a human shield he had dragged out of space. The dogs of the Blood Kill Hall are getting worse and worse. With such little ability, you still dare to try to kill people. Long Chen sneered and tossed away the headless corpse in his hand. He sneered toward a distant location. In the distance. Behind a large tree, a pair of sharp eagle-like eyes could be seen through the green leaves. The sharp eyes looked completely shocked. His sneak attack arrow had been the preparation for Shadow to kill Long Chen. But unexpectedly, Shadow, whose concealing arts had never failed, was exposed by Long Chen and then killed by his arrow. 
This person was one of Chu Yang's four great killers. Eagle Eye. The one that had died to his arrow was another one of his killers. Shadow. Long Chen had used Shadow to block Eagle Eye's arrow. Hence, Eagle Eye suddenly felt a chill on his back. He immediately realized that something was wrong, and he hastily retreated. Boom. However, he was one step too late. Space exploded and a dragon claw reached out, wiping Eagle Eye and the tree he hid in out of existence. Lai Long had silently appeared, killing Eagle Eye. This terrifying assassin who had spent his life hiding in the dark and had taken the lives of countless experts was dead the moment his position was exposed. A group of fools with no respect. Since you wish to be Chu Yang's dogs, you can accompany Chu Yang to hell. Violet lightning runes and red flame runes wove together in the air. Two dragons spun around each other. Double dragon destruction Lai Long and Huo Long's powers mixed forming a whirlpool of death that suddenly compressed and exploded, devouring all the surrounding space. Even Chu Yang who was standing on the edge of the battlefield was devoured by it. Chapter 2997 Once more seeing the Day-Night Furnace Long Chen's attack was earth-shattering. The countless disciples of the academy who had gone ahead and in the rear stared in shock as those two dragons caused massive destruction. They didn't even know what was happening. Boom. Flames and lightning devoured the heavens, stunning Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others. Long Chen was going too fast. In just the blink of an eye, he had killed Long Yan Zong, Shadow, and Eagle Eye. Luo Bing and the others had been thinking of how to help Long Chen when he suddenly unleashed such a large move. Even they were drawn into it. Normally, experts had to accumulate power and cause a manifestation of the heavenly deos to unleash such a huge move. But Long Chen's technique came from Lai Long and Huo Long, so it could be unleashed far quicker. This was one of their most terrifying aspects. They could unleash terrifying power without any warning. Is this bastard trying to kill us? Luo Ning was pale with fright. This terrifying power covered them as well, and they didn't have time to defend themselves. The lightning and flames would wipe them out of existence. He, don't worry, I'm here. Boss has long since told me to be prepared Bay Ziaol snickered and had already formed hand seals. As a result, space shook and mirrors appeared, forming a spatial defense around them. Bay Ziaol's spatial defense was struck by the lightning and flame energies, which crashed upon like a raging tsunami. The furious sound shook people's ears. Cracks covered Bay Ziaol's spatial mirror, causing him to jump in alarm. This lightning and flame energy wasn't even targeting him but his spatial divine art was already on the verge of collapse. Fortunately, his barrier held. When the lightning and flame energy faded, Luo Bing and the others were shocked to see that the original space they were in was now a giant hole. A disgusting stench came from the scorched earth. As for those experts surrounding Long Chen, they were all gone without a trace. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen shot out like a bolt of lightning, smashing the earth. Cracks instantly covered the land. In the distance, the ground exploded and three figures flew out. One of those three people was Chu Yang, while the other two were unfamiliar faces. They were short like dwarves, and they both had a rune flickering on their foreheads. Those runes contained heavy earth energy, but they were now very dim. Both of them were filled with horror. These two should be the other two members of Chu Yang's four killers. They seem to be earth element experts specialized in hiding underground, said Luo Bing. Even Chu Yang hadn't expected Long Chen to unleash such a terrifying move. It came without any warning. If it weren't for those two pulling him underground at the last minute to avoid Long Chen's double dragon destruction, then he would definitely be heavily injured. Just as the three of them popped out of the earth, a giant flame sword appeared. The terrifying heat caused heaven and earth to twist. It slashed down mercilessly. In just a few blinks of an eye. Long Chen unleashed multiple terrifying moves. They came one after another with no pause to store up energy, giving his opponents no chance to breathe. Chu Yang was shocked by these continuous attacks. Long Chen didn't give him any chance to store up energy. Furthermore, Long Chen's previous punch that forced them out of the ground had caused Chu Yang's blood chi to flip inside of him, not even giving him a chance to activate his bloodline power. With his blood chi fluctuating so much, activating his bloodline power could very likely cause a huge injury. At this moment, 
Chu Yang roared and a golden furnace appeared above his head. It actually had the exact same shape, size, and runes as the Danite furnace. Boom. Long Chen's sword slashed on the Danite furnace. As a result, the huge flame sword exploded, transforming into smaller flame swords as they could no longer maintain the merger. On the other hand, the Danite furnace sank, and an immense power passed down through it. Chu Yang coughed up a mouthful of blood. As for the two earth cultivators, without making a sound, they were blasted to bits by the power that passed through the Danite furnace. Dust to dust, earth to earth, they once more became one with the earth. Long Chen was not surprised to see the Danite furnace appear at all. Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite were two jackals of the same tribe, and their believers were connected. For Lord Brahma's dogs to have fallen Danites things were very normal. However, this Danite furnace was different from the Martial Heaven Continent's Danite furnace that was in Pill Valley's possession. This Danite furnace was a true spirit item of the immortal world. Not only was it an inheritance item, but it also contained a supreme divine might. Having summoned it so hastily, Chu Yang was unable to use any of the Danite furnace's true power. But the fact that it was still able to block Long Chen's combined 10,000 swords proved just how tough it was. When Long Chen formed hand seals once more, the 10,000 swords merged into one and slashed toward Chu Yang, not giving the latter a chance to rest. Just like before, the giant sword fell and Chu Yang used the Danite furnace to block. As a result, the giant sword split apart once again, while the Danite furnace was sent flying. Chu Yang then coughed up three mouthfuls of blood, and his aura became chaotic Noveloon.com that attack had clearly given him a serious injury. Even with all his trump cards, Long Chen didn't give him a chance to use them, so he finally felt a trace of fear. With Long Chen's immense combat experience and refined control over the tempo, he didn't give Chu Yang any time to activate his bloodline power, faith energy, or inheritance power. Moreover, all of Chu Yang's helpers were now dead, and no one could give him time to breathe. He would definitely die if this continued. The 10,000 swords once more gathered. However, this time, they were clearly dimmer than before. The Danite furnace possessed immense divine power, so when the swords landed on it, it resulted in an immense backlash. Hence, after two clashes, the heaven-shaking swords had reached their limit. They were on the verge of collapse. If they struck the Danite furnace against, they would shatter and be impossible to repair. But Long Chen didn't care. All he knew was that with one more attack, he could definitely give Chu Yang a grave wound. He didn't want to give him any chance to recover. Even if he lost these heaven-shaking swords, it didn't matter. He could always raise another batch. Seeing the heaven-shaking swords gather once more, Chu Yang clenched his teeth and suddenly crushed a jade plate. Just as the heaven-shaking swords prepared to fall once more, a giant hand appeared. Long Chen's heaven-shaking swords were swatted away by the hand. Long Chen, you little ingrate. Die. Space twisted and a sinister-faced elder appeared, his hand reaching toward Long Chen's throat. Chu Huiiren, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others cried out in shock. Chapter 2998 Old Man offered to the heavens this jade talisman that Chu Yang had just crushed was a transportation talisman. Since Chu Huiiren had led people here and was on the outer edge of the Jilin Immortal Land, he was just barely able to be transported to this location. This was one of the reasons that Chu Yang had chosen to make his move here. Once they were deeper within the Jilin Immortal Land, they would be well beyond the laws of the immortal world, and Chu Huiiren would be unable to enter. With the threat of death hanging over him, Chu Yang had no choice but to use this transportation talisman. It could be said that he had marked himself with a seal of shame for the rest of his life by doing this. After working together with so many experts just to kill Long Chen, they ended up being slaughtered instead, and Chu Yang was forced to ask for aid from others. That was the greatest humiliation. However, when the other option was losing his life, Chu Yang naturally chose to be humiliated. Chu Huiiren appeared, and the entire world seemed to freeze. This was the pressure of a supreme expert, something no one could resist. In front of Chu Huiiren, they were like ants. The difference in realms was too great. Chu Huiiren's appearance caused Luo Bing and the others to despair. However, 
Long Chen only looked at him contemptuously. Even with death at hand, you still dare to sneer at me. Have a taste of this old man's methods today. Chu Hua Iron glared at Long Chen viciously. His hatred of Long Chen was bone deep. Hence, he didn't want to kill Long Chen so quickly. He wanted him to suffer. Just as Chu Hua Iron's hand approached Long Chen's throat, a jade plate appeared in Long Chen's hand. This jade plate was inscribed with the character's high firmament. When Chu Hua Iron saw that jade plate, his expression completely changed. Before he could react at all, the high firmament characters glowed. After that, a wave of energy shot out, and Chu Hua Iron's overwhelming pressure instantly vanished. A mysterious energy was restricting his cultivation base, causing his aura to plummet to the divine flame realm. In that instant, Chu Hua Iron's soul almost fled in terror. He looked at Long Chen like the latter was a nightmare. He then tried to stabilize his body and retreat, but with his cultivation base suppressed to the divine flame realm, he couldn't stop. He continued flying toward Long Chen in panic. Long Chen then grabbed Chu Hua Iron's throat. With his cultivation base suppressed, he was even weaker than an ordinary divine flame disciple. Now, he was like a chicken before Long Chen. How can you have the Deputy Dean's High Firmament Sacred Tablet? Chu Hua Iron was so terrified that his head was blank. There were ten High Firmament Sacred Tablets in the Academy and they were jointly used to activate the most important mysterious land of the Academy. In his thousands of years at the Academy, Chu Hua Iron had only seen the Deputy Dean use it once. That was why he recognized it. The tablet had a terrifying ability to suppress an opponent's cultivation base to the same level as the user. As Chu Hua Iron had advanced out of the Divine Flame Realm for countless years and long since forgotten how to use the power of the Divine Flame Realm, Suppressing his cultivation base to this level was no different than crippling his cultivation base. Do you not know? The Academy sent you this time for a great purpose. Today is a good day. I will kill an old man as an offering to the heavens. Long Chen then clenched his hand, crushing Chu Hua Iron's neck, removing his head from his body. A terrifying expert was killed just like that, with his cultivation base suppressed. He was unable to bring out any of his power and ended up dying to a divine flame realm novice. Long Chen then tossed Chu Hua Iron's head aside and shot after Chu Yang. Chu Yang was in the midst of recovering, and his blood chi fluctuations gradually rose in preparation for activating his bloodline power. However, Long Chen didn't give him that chance. The reason he didn't waste words with Chu Hua Iron was to prevent Chu Yang from fully recovering. In this situation, he could easily kill Chu Yang. Chu Yang's expression was gloomy. Suddenly, the day-night furnace above his head unleashed divine light that enveloped him. As a result, Long Chen's sword fell and ended up only striking an afterimage. Chu Yang and the day-night furnace had vanished with some unknown method. In the distance, countless disciples of the academy stared in horror at Long Chen. The experts from the first and second batches had gone deep into the Jilin immortal land but the remaining disciples were treated to a shocking sight. Long Chen was like a devil king from hell. He had killed almost everyone in the fourth batch. Hence, those who had offended the unfettered alliance or the Luo Gate were now green with terror, afraid that Long Chen would settle that debt with them now. Boss, you're so strong. Bei Ziaol cried out excitedly, his eyes full of worship. Ultimately, Long Chen failed to eliminate Chu Yang. He sighed inside. It truly was a bit unrealistic to kill an expert like Chu Yang with no effort. Looking at those terrified disciples, Long Chen clasped his hands behind him and coldly said, I, Long Chen, never bully the weak. Quite a few of you have provoked the unfettered alliance, the Luo Gate, and myself. But as long as you don't test my bottom line, I won't bother quibbling with you. You don't need to worry about me settling matters later. Hearing his words, those disciples sighed with relief. They previously didn't know Long Chen's power because he had never displayed it in the inner academy. But after slaying so many experts this time, he shook them to the core. In an instant, their respect for him rose. Up ahead is the Jilin Immortal Land. You should all listen well. Other than the academy's people, everyone from the other five powers is an enemy. If you want to live, don't be stupid. In the past openings of the Jilin Immortal Land, our academy's people were always robbed and suffering. 
This time, with Boss Long San present, such a thing will not be permitted. It has always been the Golden Bell Tigers, the Clear River Wolves, and the High Firmament Sheep. Today, I'll show them that there's a new boss in the High Firmament Academy. Beishishi followed her own path and won't be joining us, so don't hope for them to help you. But I am different. I'm not good at searching for treasures, but I'm good at fighting. I won't quibble about the past. Now that Boss Long San has set foot on this land, then this place is now under my name. As members of the same sect, if you encounter someone you can't beat, send out a distress signal, and I will definitely rush over as long as I receive it. Boss Long San didn't come here to search for treasures. He came to fight for treasures. Conveniently, I can wipe away the humiliation left behind by the cowards before me. Good luck everyone. Time is precious. Go search for your own treasures, but take care of yourselves hearing this. All these disciples were excited. In the past, all their experts only looked out for themselves, but Long Chen was willing to stand up for them. They were extremely moved, especially after having personally seen how powerful he was. Their confidence instantly rose. Countless disciples charged into the Jilin immortal land following his words. Mu King Ian then brought the unfettered alliance's people over. Mu King Ian asked, Brother San, are you really planning on helping them? You're not going to search for treasures with us. Long Chen smiled. Your brother San's luck is extremely lacking. But when it comes to plundering treasures, he, my success rate is quite high. Helping them is helping myself. What if you encounter their supreme experts? The five major powers all have powerful existences sent here this time, said Luo Bing. Who cares about them? We still have Bei Shishi, don't we? If things don't work out, we might as well turn everything into chaos. Long Chen laughed. That laughter was definitely sinister, leaving Luo Bing and the others speechless. Luo Bing then left with Mu King Ian's flying boat, and they randomly picked a direction. As for Long Chen, he chose to be a nomad. Flying off in a different direction. Chapter 2999 The situation is off within a mountain valley inside of the Jilin Immortal Land. Two opposing forces were fighting. One of those forces belonged to the High Firmament Academy. They had over 500 people and were surrounded. On the other hand, their opponents didn't have more numbers. But the High Firmament Academy's side was at a clear disadvantage. There were over 10 corpses on the ground already. This was a guild ranked in the 50s of the High Firmament Academy. Theoretically, their power wasn't bad, but the other side was too strong. They couldn't even break out of their encirclement. Little sheep of the High Firmament Academy, give up and hand over all your treasures. Otherwise, all of you will be killed, sneered a large man from the opposing side. His arms were just as thick as an ordinary person's leg. Bastards, we're too unlucky. We just found an immortal cave and were discovered. One of the academy's disciples clenched his teeth furiously. This was just the outer region, and it was unknown just how many times people had searched through it. There shouldn't be any treasures left, but their luck was good. They ended up finding a mountain that had collapsed, exposing a natural cave. They then found several treasures and bone books inside. The weapons were so old that the item spirits had long since been extinguished. As for the bone books, they were written in characters no one recognized. Only once these disciples brought them back to the academy and their scholars translated them would they know their value. However, in any case, any ancient tome, whether it was simply history or some ancient technique, would be traded for a large sum by the academy. Sometimes the value of a single book could cause a person to reach the peak of their life in an instant. Although the academy's rules might be a bit shady. When it came to gathering such treasures, they always paid a higher price than the outside world, and they definitely wouldn't take advantage of anyone. Their public opinion in this regard was very good. Thus, these few bone books were extremely precious to the disciples. But before they could even celebrate, they were discovered by this group of experts and surrounded. A fight then broke out without a word, and in the chaos, over ten of them were slain. Only then did these people say what they wanted. We have to persevere. I already sent the distress signal. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen will definitely come to help if he receives it. Shouted a spear-wielding expert. He was doing his best to block the attacks coming from the front. 
Will he really come? We have no relationship with him. We can only do our utmost for these treasures. If he doesn't come, we'll have to hand over the bone books. Despite the Academy's disciples doing their best, the power disparity between the two sides was too great. In just a short moment, another dozen of their members were killed. The Academy's disciples were finally afraid. In the past, their battlefields only contained devil creatures. They were able to be brave in front of devil creatures, but against true experts, they were shocked to find that the techniques and tricks they had learned were rarely useful. However, they were a team, and as long as their guild leader didn't give the word, no one dared to surrender. That would cause their comrades to collapse. Hence, they could only grit their teeth and continue fighting. What a group of fools. Since you all want to die, kill them all, shouted the large man who was the leader of the opposing forces. As you wish, a lazy voice rang out from the sky. Who's there? The large man was startled. Looking up, he saw that a giant silver eagle had appeared in the sky. On its head stood a lean, handsome man chewing on a stalk of grass, his arms crossed in front of his chest. He had just shouted when Long Chen pointed his finger. A thin lightning arrow then shot out and blew apart the large man's head. He was the leader of the group but was killed with a single finger from Long Chen. Hence, the others were shocked, and their entire group fell into chaos. Taking advantage of the chaos, the Academy's disciples concentrated their attacks and charged out of their encirclement. They had just charged out when the ground swelled. A fist-sized lotus flower exploded amongst the opposing forces. Those experts didn't even know what was going on before they were turned to ash. Of over 500 experts, only 70 to 80 remained, and quite a few were injured. The silver eagle beneath Long Chen's feet spread its wings, carrying him away like a silver shooting star. His voice rang out from a distance. Kill them all. Don't leave a single one alive. If you can't even do that, then buy a block of tofu and kill yourself with it as an apology for your fallen comrades. Long Chen was already gone by the time his final words reached them. He left behind a group of the Academy's disciples who still felt like they were dreaming. Kill them. Avenge our fallen brothers. The leader of this guild finally reacted, and with a furious howl, led the charge against the horrified opponents. Their butcher's blades were mercilessly raised. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you came just in time. Otherwise, we would have all died here. The rank 17 guild's leader bowed deeply to Long Chen, his eyes full of gratitude. Just now, they had encountered experts from the Clear River Palace. They were extremely tough, and without a word, had started killing. They made no mention of handing over treasures. It was as if they were only interested in killing, as if they had some deep enmity with the High Firmament Academy. The High Firmament side had over 700 people, and in the first clash, the other side killed over a hundred of them. They were too strong. If Long Chen hadn't arrived, the disciples probably wouldn't be able to last an incense stick's worth of time before being completely wiped out. Long Chen shook his head. It's not that the other side is too strong, but you are too weak. Truthfully, you're so weak that I want to curse you. Those disciples lowered their heads in shame. Despite being in the same realm, they were far weaker than the other side. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what should we do now? Asked the guild leader his face completely red. Long Chen thought about it. You have two choices. You can search for treasures in the outer region. Your chances of finding anything are low, but you'll also have lower chances of encountering enemies. Your second choice would be to join forces with other guilds. With more numbers, you can slowly progress deeper. The good thing is that it will be safer, but your efficiency will drop. You'll also have to split the soup between more people. It's up to you to make the choice. That person thought about it. The chances of finding any treasures in the outer region are too low. Missing this chance is something we would regret for a lifetime. I accept senior apprentice brother's second option. We will join forces with other guilds before going deeper. Remember, if you encounter people from the other powers, as long as you can beat them, make sure to kill them all. You are the 17th group of people I've saved. I've seen members of all five powers, and their attitude toward the High Firmament Academy is not snatching treasures, but killing us all. Don't show any compassion, urged Long Chen. 
Long Chen smelled the scent of a scheme within the Jilin Immortal Land. It seemed that the five powers were collectively targeting the High Firmament Academy, wanting to wipe them all out. Suddenly, Long Chen's expression changed slightly. He received a distress signal from Luo Bing. After that, he immediately set off on his Silver Eagle, quickly arriving where Luo Bing was. But he found that they weren't in any danger. Brother San, we've noticed some powerful experts from the Clear River Palace. They seemed to be carrying out some large movement. We're worried we won't be able to handle it ourselves. So we asked you to take a look, said Mu Kingayan. Chapter 3000 Clear River Palace Clear River Palace That was one of the six powers that had entered the Jilin Immortal Land. This sect was founded 13,000 years ago. Compared to an ancient power like the High Firmament Academy, it was nothing more than an up-and-coming youngster. However, the Clear River Palace developed very quickly. In the last 2,000 years in particular, they reached an unprecedented golden age. The number of disciples beneath their flag was not lower than the High Firmament Academy, and they were extremely powerful. Amongst the six powers, their power was second only to the Golden Bell Gate. They were the two strongest forces amongst the six powers, while the Firmament Academy was dead last. Thus came the saying of the Golden Bell Tigers, Clear River Wolves, and High Firmament Sheep. Despite the High Firmament Academy's long-lasting history and inheritance, its institution was rotten. Hence, its talented people slowly left, with each generation of disciples being worse than the last. It could already be said to be declining. The High Firmament Academy didn't restrict its disciples' freedom, as they were nothing more than a place of learning. They accepted tuition fees to raise disciples. If the disciples wanted to stay, they could stay. If they wanted to leave, they could leave. However, other sects were mostly lifelong commitments. Once you joined a sect, you had to be loyal to that sect for a lifetime. Leaving would be considered a falling out, and you would be chased down. Contrary to the norm, many disciples cultivating in the High Firmament Academy ultimately ended up returning to their families. Some talented disciples were even picked up by other sects. All of this combined with the higher-ups attitude of indifference resulted in the High Firmament Academy's power slowly dropping. However, no matter how rotten it was, its foundation was still there. It was still the Martial Heaven Prefecture's strongest academy. In the past, when the Academy's disciples entered the Jilin Immortal World, being bullied was natural, but the other five powers didn't dare to go too far. As long as the disciples handed over their treasures, then at most they would humiliate the disciples a bit before letting them off. However, this time was different. Long Chen had saved so many of the Academy's disciples, and he found that the Five Powers disciples were trying to wipe them out this time. That enraged Long Chen. Although he didn't feel that much sense of belonging toward the High Firmament Academy, the Five Powers were going too far with their bullying. They weren't just taking treasures but also killing. Furthermore, Long Chen felt that things weren't so simple. Before leaving, Heaven Master Yun Yang had told him how to use the High Firmament Sacred Tablet. At the same time, he had told Long Chen that the Jilin Immortal Land was not the Academy. He didn't need to be restricted by the Academy's rules. Originally, he had thought that the Heaven Master was referring to Chu Yang and Chu Hu Iron. However, now when he thought back to it, it seemed that there had been another layer to his words. Now, he thought that Heaven Master Yun Yang might be referring to this. After arriving where Luo Bing was, Long Chen heard that her group had seen the Clear River Palace's experts stealthily doing something here. Brother San, around 200 miles from here, there is a mountain valley covered in mist. It's impossible to see the situation inside. But when we noticed it, the Clear River Palace's people had already arrived. That squad of experts stayed for a while and then two more groups of experts arrived. One of them contained a terrifying expert covered in mist. It's as if they were merged into heaven and earth. They clearly received a message to go there. I feel like there must be something important inside, whispered Mu Kingayan. As a sword cultivator, she had a sharp sense of how strong or weak others were. It was precisely due to sensing how powerful that person was that she didn't dare to make any rash moves. That's a good thing. Let's go take a look. Long Chen wasn't that interested in searching for treasures because he could never find them. 
but snatching treasures was something he excelled at. Long Chen led them into the valley. When they got close to it, Long Chen raised his hand, indicating for everyone to stop. Long Chen then called over the archers. He pointed to over ten patrolling disciples of the Clear River Palace. After that, he pointed to his head and drew an arc with his hand. Those archers instantly understood. They took out their bows and aimed. After that, Long Chen waved his hand. Over ten light sounds rang out. Those patrolling disciples instantly had an arrow sprout out of their heads. Without making a sound, they fell limply to the ground. Not bad. Your curved arrows are starting to have the right flavor. Long Chen nodded and had a slight smile. He then gave the archers a thumbs up. They had progressed very quickly, having even grasped the fundamentals of the curved arrow. Such an arrow could kill people easily, due to not aiming right at them. It was more difficult to sense. By the time the enemies reacted, they would already be struck. Those archers were delighted by Long Chen's praise. Originally, they were not valued by others. In fact, others even looked down on them, thinking that they were cowards who didn't dare to use blades. However, Long Chen attached great importance to them, even transmitting powerful archery arts to them. As a result, they had made such rapid improvements during this time that even they themselves didn't dare to believe it. It was as if they were in a dream. After killing the scouts, they slipped deeper into the mist. Long Chen's senses were sharp, and they ran into another wave of exposed scouts, as well as two waves of hidden scouts. Long Chen himself didn't take action, instead letting the archers handle them all. The archers displayed an amazing level of skill. Their silent arrows seemed to chase down their enemies' souls. Within the mist, those clear river palaces' disciples didn't even know how they died. Back when Long Chen had said that archers and healers were the most important existences in a group, some people were unconvinced. But now they bore witness to the terror of archers and could no longer look down on them. They advanced a dozen miles within the mist before it slowly started to dissipate. At this point, they felt the ground shaking occasionally. They're underground. Long Chen looked around and didn't find any cave entrance. Luo Bing was about to send some people to investigate the surroundings when Long Chen gestured to them to be quiet. He then pointed to a distant stone covered in moss. Luo Bing saw that the moss was on the side leaning against the mountain. As the color was very different from the rest of the mountain, it had clearly been moved. Li Ke then pushed aside the large stone, revealing a cave entrance. Inside the cave, there was another group of over ten experts from the Clear River Palace. They clearly hadn't expected anyone to arrive here, but before they could shout, another wave of arrows killed them. This was a cave entrance dozens of meters wide. They heard rumbling sounds coming from within as if people were fighting. We should quicken the pace, or the treasure will be taken by others first, said Luo Ning nervously, as well as excitedly, killing people to take their treasures. This was the first time for her. No need. Even if they get the treasure, we can just take it. Our goal isn't to snatch treasures but to kill people. Long Chen smiled somewhat sinisterly and led them down the cave. They didn't encounter any more sentries. After one more turn, they saw a giant space. Then a terrifying bestial roar shook their ears. 